What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Let me actually turn my other light on. Instead of this one. Starts the stream and walks away. Okay, what's up, everybody? I hope everyone is doing A-OK. -okay. We got some things to do today. And, uh, let's start off with... Something. What are we going to start off with? Side quest down there, side quest up there, side quest da da there. I do have taken damage already. Actually kind of nice. We need to visit Hango, Udon West, and Hakataso. First, we're going to Tsuyuda for souvenirs that we cannot use as of this exact moment, but... Oh, we're like right next to that. <laughs> this is Tsuyuda. Tsu, tsu, tsu. Tsu. Yeah, okay. We need one of those, we need one of these, we need this one. Revised. Take one of each. Put that away. Don't know, is my audio too loud? My speakers might be a little bit too loud. Ow, my teeth. Okay, so which is the closest one? We don't west all the way down there. Ango Zoshu Yama. And this is Hakataso. Let's go do Hakataso oh. first. We'll eventually run into uh, assholes again that we can beat up, right? Also need to keep an eye out for trash on the floor. Someone saying something for me? Oh, this guy here. Eh <laughs> Hey, Zillar. Zillar, stop making fun of my arts. Very bad. Ow. What are you on about? <laughs> Saying that the title of my story is eh -heh. I'm... May not be smart, but I'm also not very dumb. Oh, oops. Sneaky, sneaky. How are you doing, Zillar? That wasn't really what I had in my mind. Huda, Huda! You're okay? Are you feeling better yet? I am uh, just tired. I'm okay. Oh, 
still a bit lingering, but not enough to stay at home, sad face. Siller doesn't have to work, Siller just has to stay at home and get free money. That's what I think. Oh no, you have to get free money. And at least double the amount of what you're to pay from my expensive money. Money would be great. And at least double the amount of what you're getting right now. <laughs> Okay, now if I'd go to... I don't know if I can use multiples, actually. Maybe we can. Only if you're a good boy. Decided what you ask Santa for Christmas oh. yet? Yeah, a smartphone. <laughs> Aren't you clever little thing? Smartphones are for grown-ups, dear. Aw, but I want to get a smartphone, Mom. If you love me, you'll get one. Hmm. I sure don't mind, but I don't think Santa's little elves can make those. Dang it. Holidays are on the horizon. It's already been a year since my last Christmas, said Morning Glory. I wish I could do something for the kids this time of year, at least. The guys at Nagasu Taxi might have some ideas. Maybe I'll ask wada son about it. Hmm. Gotta go all the way back. Don't think I'm gonna need for that. Uh, do we go top? Do we go bottom? Let's go top first. Another upgrade. Did I actually take damage? I didn't take damage. Yorin is getting too good. Ah, trash. Finally. More trash. 
Only 14 liters. Liters. 30 liters. Okay, that's nice. We gotta do good for the planet, guys. Clean up this place. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, are you alright? Ugh, I think I sprained my ankle. I can't move a muscle. Ah, damn. Smarts. You should get that looked at by the doctor. Is there a hospital you can go to? I can't right now. I got a customer waiting for their Odin. I gotta start work right away. Take injuries lightly at your age. Look, I've been running the same damn stall, same damn place for 30 goddamn years. And I'll be damned if I let this ankle stop me now. Oh! You okay? No, gosh dang it. The rush will be starting soon. I can't just sit here. Gotta start hauling ass on this thing. You won't be hauling anything like that. Then maybe I can get you to haul it over for me? Hmm? Come on, I'll make it worth your while. Just move my stall over to South Nagasugawa Street. But how are you going to get there? Simple, I'll just take a cab and wait for you. Now then, treat the old girl gently, okay? Bitter and old I may be, but lose that stall and I might as well lose my life. I'm begging you, do an old man a favor. I'll move the stall! Okay, all I have to do is move this thing to South Nagasugawa Street, right? That shouldn't be too hard. Great, what you want, but business is gonna get real bu busy real fast. You gotta hurry. Sure, leave it to me. Thanks again. Arrive safely in two minutes. Food stall speedster. How the food stall took on like regular taxi missions, there are no penalties for. Can't we go faster? <laughs> ah. Safe driving. Can still. Damn, this is slow. <laughs> This fucking asshole just suddenly, uh... Just because I looked away for a second. Also, Zillar, I'm not too good for you. If anything, I'm not good enough. <laughs> Here, good work, man. I've got customers waiting. I hope I made it on time. You did great. I never expected you to show up so quick. But did you get the stall here in one piece? Yeah, nothing crashed. Ah, she's in good shape, I see. Guess you treated her like a lady, huh? Well, you did say you value it as much as your life or something to that effect. So I didn't want to knock it around. Thanks. You've got a good heart for such a young guy. I was floored out of my gourds for a while there, but now I can get my customers to own they've been craving. It ain't a lot, but here's a little something for lugging my style this whole way. Thanks. Ooh, 20k. Hercules gloves. Driver level. Oh, that's new. And level up. I like that. Okay, uh, press start. There's another side quest right next to this one. I 
I haven't taken any damage yet, but at least pick up the trash, Jordy. Run in front of this guy. Pick up the trash. You're the taxi driver who's been challenging the devil killers, huh? aren't you? You're gonna... You gonna piss off the wrong guys, pal. Time to die. Oh, uh, what? Was this the quest? <laughs> I don't think so, right? <laughs> At least let him, I'll let him punch me once, at least. Um, guess I'll then get me to the ground. Okay, you win. Just stop, please. You got me, alright? That's one stall. I'm actually gonna go. Oh. Where is it? Hello? Yeah, we're rank B now. So let's do that. Fight me, bitch. Where is it? Oh, there they are. I was heading into this direction to the safe point to stash garbage. Then we were gonna head to one of the other stores or uh, food stalls. That Suzuki guy, the taxi driver trying to take on the devil killers, you cheeky fuck. Not scared of the devil killers. They should be scared of me! ありがとうございました。Back to wait, where's the? There's a quest like right on the left here. We'll do that one instead. Mm -hmm. Look at that pimp raid, yo. 
What's with that car? Oh, what's this strangled meteor doing around here? What, Asan? You know this car? Why, is this the first time you've seen it? It is. Something special about it? Well, sure, the lady who drives this sexy piece of machinery is in charge of the Vixen Zeros. They call her the Sprangled Meteor. And what's the Vixen Zeros? They say they're a group of gorgeous women who can outspeed anyone they challenge. I wish they'd drive up on me someday. <clears throat> so they're essentially an all-girls street racing team. According to the stories, yeah, but I've never heard of anyone who actually seen their faces. They may not be gorgeous at all. Ha! <laughs> That's about the size of it. Guess you could say it's one of those urban legends. Oh, and apparently the only way to see them is to beat them in a race. Interestingly enough, the Vixen Zeros are usually the ones who initiate the challenges. If you lose, uh, they'll just speed off, but if you win, you catch a glimpse of true beauty. But if nobody's ever seen them in person, does that mean they're actually undefeated? Who knows? All I've heard are rumors. Sure makes a good story, though, don't you think? Hm, guess you're right. Okay, so I gotta, like, most of these quests, I actually gotta go back to the taxi firm, I guess. That's already the second one, I think. Um, not that one. Okay, so the last one is Hango So Zoshiyama. This was the Udon West, and this is Hango. Let's see if we can run into some idiots that want to try and kick my ass. Can move forward to completing Kiryu's side of the. You look like an asshole. Um. <laughs> Rude, Jordy. Oh, I heard that. Where? Where are you? I hear someone talking shit. I can't find him. Ah, there he is. Street punks. Hiya, Sap. Okay, punch me. That's not a punch. Punch me. Okay, that's good enough. How are you today, dude? Good to hear, good to hear. package had another home office today was waiting for a package second day in a row but package will be tomorrow <sighs> making sep wait how dare they thank god it's not a game pre-order my address was bad, according to those damn idiots. <sighs> damn idiots. So, 80? This is the ramen stall the chief took me to. Maybe I should stop in. It doesn't look all that busy. Lol, idiots. It is shy. Hmm, don't I know you from somewhere? I got it. You're the guy who came in with Nakijima-san. Thanks for coming back. Your name was Suzuki. Right. 
Right, Suzuki-san, you know your boss is regular here. When he gets tips, he always starts talking about you. <laughs> Does he know? Yep. Our new hire, a fellow named Suzuki-san, looks serious. As all, as all get out, always wears a frown cutting ditches in his forehead. He says, heard story, but he wasn't kidding. He looked like he could stare down a bull in mid-charge. I don't mean to scare you. I'm just yanking your chain. Tell you what, though, Nakijima-san's taken a real shine to you. He's always singing your praises for working so hard all the time. Says he's mighty grateful to have you on board. You really said that? Yep. Oh, you know what? Your order's on me today. Don't be shy about filling your belly either. No, I couldn't possibly. It's fine, nothing to worry about. Nakajima-san's always done right by us. So, it's the least I can do. That's very generous of you, thank you. So, what you having? Ramen, please. Aight, one ramen coming up. How firm, buddy? Hmm, how firm? Yeah, our noodles come in six levels of firmness. Very soft, soft, regular, hard, very hard, and... Dunked. As Hakataka locals, we like our noodles on the firm side. Dunked. It's just dunking the noodles to remove the flour. I recommend very hard for newbies. I'll try very hard, please. Aye, one ramen very hard coming right up. Well, tasty, wasn't it? It was. I'm surprised at how much those extra firm noodles absorb the flavor of the broth. Gives it a very rich taste. Well, ain't that a treat to hear? Welcome to the world of Hakata, Hakata Ramen. Next time, bring the boss of yours, will you? Sure. But I really should be paying. I said it's on me, Suzuki-san. You don't need to get so uptight about it. But, no buts, just enjoy. You sure? I'm sure, I'm sure. Even so, Suzuki-san, that's about enough. yee Is he okay? Ooh, damn. What's wrong? Uh, it's my back. Uh, I went at it too hard with my old lady last night. Should maybe throw out your, out your back? If so, you need to get to a doctor. No, not now. There's a bum rush of customers soon, like a waterfall of them. We call it the Niagara of Death. <laughs> okay. The Niagara of Death. Yep. That's when we pull the most business in. Can't afford to leave the place now. But with this wrecked spine of mine, I can barely stand. I don't boil noodles. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I know. How about you fill in behind the counter? Just for now. You want me to do it? Yeah, the soup and the toppings are all ready to go. All you gotta do is boil the noodles and slurp them into a bowl. Nothing too complicated. That, that simple. It is that simple. Now come on, I'm begging you. If I close up shop now, we'll be hurting for cash flow down the road. Besides, I don't want to disappoint folk who come specifically looking for us. Well, he's a friend of the chief's and I do owe him for the ramen. I should help the man, okay. Not sure how well I can do, but I'll try to help you out. You will? Oh, you're a savior. No wonder Nakijima's son sees so much in you. I'll pay you for your time, too. Hey, you got room for four? Yep, sit wherever you like, and I'll be right with you. Ramen Chef Kiryu. Look at you, Suzuki-san, looking good in an apron. All right, now, it's about to start. The time when customers... Uh, and orders come crashing down like a mighty waterfall of chaos and confusion. It's time for the Niagara of Death. So all I need to do is boil noodles to the firmness that the customers request. Yep, that's all there is to it. Remember, it's all about firmness. Life is all about firmness. Good luck. That's what she said. Uh, this doesn't look too hard. Oh, wait. Crap. Cooked noodles request this consistency. They will gradually soften as they cook. So after ramen by pressing the indicated button when the consistency gauge matches the order. The pace of customers' orders increases in stages as you successfully fill them. You won't proceed to the next stage if you botch too many. Up to 100 customers will place order. Aim for the title of Ramen King. Holy shit. Very hard. 
Regular. In row. Very soft. Very hard. Very hard. Good show, Sama. Okay, next stage. Turnover rate increased hard. Hard. Soft. Soft. Also soft. Yeah, the speed is going way too fast. Well, not too fast actually. Dunk. That's really short. Regular. Soft. Very hard. Next, hard. Hey, Komachi! Succeeded. 10 out of 10. Turnover rate increased. Very hard. Regular square. Dunk. Triangle. Very hard on, on X. Regular on O. Hard. Stuffed. Dunk. Oh, that's cheap. Hard. Throwing in a very long one and then instantly the fast one. Very hard. Regular. Ooh, I almost pressed the wrong button. Very hard. Soft. Regular. 30 in a row. I'm doing well so far. We've had 30 of the 100. Wait, is there something... Do I need to... Um, fast food... King of Mixer... Spring, sprinkled Meteor... No, 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 no... Gotta be firm. Getting the top ranking gets you the most pay, which is... That's the uh, noodle game. Earn the title of Ramen King. Oh my lord, really? I don't know how much you need for the uh, title of Ramen King. Uh, Yakuza 5 Remaster. Ramen King title. Doesn't say how many points he needs, though. Well, we're on thirty. Dunk, that's annoying. Reg. Dunk. Hard. Hard. Very hard. Reg. Oh crap! Shit, I failed. Hard. Very hard. Hard, soft. 
Hard, very hard, soft. I actually failed. Soft. Hard. Oh, fuck. Reg. Hard. Hard. Reg. Reg. Soft, very hard. Soft. Only five less, damn. Turnover rate increased. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Reg. 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 I fucked this one up. There's no way I could have done that one. Dunk. Soft. Soft. Hard. 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 Dunk. Soft. Dunk. Very hard, very hard, dunk. <laughs> uh, hard on O. Soft on square. Dunk on X. Very hard on O. Very hard on square. Hard. 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 Uh, dunk. Hard. Very hard. Hard. Very hard. Hard. Dunk. Regular. Soft. I wasn't that soft yet. I ended up failing only five again. That's not too bad. Hey, we did it! We got the S-rank Ramen King, right? 36 streak. S-rank Ramen King. We'll see in a bit. suzuki son, that was something else. It was like watching the god of noodles at work. I wouldn't say god of noodles, but... Uh... Thank you. Now, is your back okay? Hmm? My back? Oh. Oh, hey! Watching you work your magic made me forget all about it. I feel fine now. That's good. You were a huge help. Here's your pay. Come on by any time you want, okay? I'd be happy to have you work the counter again if you ever feel like a Suzuki-san. Oh, and say hi to the chief for me, will ya? Thanks. Okay, now the question is, do I have to do it again for the completion, or did I actually... Minigames... Nice, good job, Yordi. First try, that's the way we like to see it. Uh, quest in the middle of the city. We did all the food stands, so we're gonna go upwards towards our teacher. Love it when things go right. Especially when I don't have to worry too much about it. No, we don't want to go with the camp.
Why are you collecting garbage? Uh, for uh, completion objectives and such. I was told by our chief that we need to collect garbage. Well, not necessarily need, but we should collect garbage. Yeah. Right behind you. Oh, it's so good. I mean, I know why you are... Why Kiryu does it, Okubos's orders. Yep. It contains all sorts of ingredients, each one with its own unique flavor, texture, and nutritious content. So I want you to give some thought to the ingredients being used in the food you eat even before you take your first bite. Then you'll see how cooking is the sum of many parts. Eating is more fun when you understand your special characteristics of your food. Pay attention to stuff like that and you just might end up with something you didn't expect when you eat your meals. And give it a try. Gourmet in training. Enhancing abilities by eating. Now that you have learned Gumeit in training, you can enhance abilities by eating. However, the abilities you learn from Tatsuya only work with food served at eateries. No effect when using food items. You can enhance the following four abilities by eating at an eatery. Restore health up to the second gauge, yellow. However, the second gauge automatically falls over time. Strength, barehanded moves do more damage. Dense battle points increase in Haruka's case. Focus. Stays above a certain level. Fighting spirit. Heat actions do more damage. That's nice. Second health bar. Yeah. Right behind you, boy. That was delicious, and it should really help me come up with ideas for a new dish. Last time I told you to think about different combinations of ingredients, but now I want you to think about the person doing the cooking. If it's a chef's skill that really allows good ingredients to shine through, but there's more to cooking than that. You can't just pile tasty food onto a plate, there should be a story behind it, or you should try to convey an emotion through it. For example, people like to hear how you came up with a certain dish, or you can try to create something that makes people smile. You see, when people know there's more to a dish than its ingredients, they'll appreciate it that much more. Got it. There's a story or some sort of emotion behind the food the chef makes. Master Gourmet. Materio! Yeah! Okay, last one. Hoi! Spence is killing me. Oh, is she? <laughs> Whoa, that was delicious. And it should really help me come up with ideas for a new dish. Since you've introduced me to so many great places, I'll give you the best advice I have. You know how people say they're full but still have room for dessert? It's because the body is quite the amazing machine. When there's something you really want to eat, it makes a little room for it. You can say the opposite as well. The body feels full and satisfied for quite some time after eating a delicious meal. Eating is a sim as ugh, eating is simple. Dot 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 dot.
satisfying and when that feeling of, uh, of satisfaction lasts even longer, eating becomes an even more pleasurable experience. North, east, south, west, okay. I've given you to make your dining experience more fun. Use all the advice you've given me so far. Got it. I'll see what I can come up with. King of Gourmet. A night. I wonder if this counts as night or as uh, nightfall. Just gonna go and have a look. Is there? No, it's all the way there. So we're just gonna walk. Bunch of punks. I'd say. I love how the combat is the least of my worries in this game. <laughs> like, it's literally the least of my worries in this game, and I can just chill out, kick some ass. Then we're gonna have to start playing freaking. Uh, oh, sorry. Mini games, and you already tenses up. Clenches his butt cheeks. Tatsuya? Welcome to Tatsuya's 3 minute kitchen hack. Today we're visiting the food stall mecca of Nagasugai, Fukuoka. The show is all about having celebrity chef Tatsuya help new and struggling eateries across Japan by coming up with new dishes. In this episode we're paying a visit to To Dagawa-san, owner of an old school food stall, is on the outs with the young crowd. Todagawa-san, we heard you were having trouble attracting younger customers. That's right. We mainly serve simple dishes for which Hakata is famous, such as Mizutaki. But the younger crowd ain't interested. Thought maybe we could come up with a new dish that could attract young people. So you want to come up with a Mizutaki dish that young people could love, too? Sounds like a tough challenge. Well, Tatsuya-san, let's hear what you came up with. Okay, wait for it. I'm calling my new dish cream stew style Mizutaki Zosh Zosu Zoshu. You've done it again, Tatsuya san. Could you tell us a little more about your new creation? Sure. It's a Mizutaki dish prepared like a stew with white sauce and plenty of black pepper. You can also enjoy its carbonara style with an egg on top. It's sure to be a hit with the younger crowd, especially the ladies. Sounds like a feast for the eyes and mouth. Gotta hand it to you, Tatsuya-san. I would have never come up with anything like that. How'd you do it? When I first came here, I asked a certain person to recommend different eateries. I was quite inspired by all the new places I ate at. And there you have it. Another hit dish, courtesy of Tatsuya-san. Cream stew style Mizutaki Zosui. Is now available anytime at Todo, Toda Gawa-san's food stall. We hope our viewers will come give it a try. Until next time, bon appetit! Bumama tea. Serving Tatsuya's new dish at the food stall over there. I'll give it a try when I have some time. AKA now. Holy shit.
focus went up. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh. Uh, that means we got two quests left to do. Who are you? Are you nice? Are you bad? Excuse me, do you have a minute? Sure, what do you need? From the Nagasu Tourism Board? Ah, this guy! Advertising campaign to try and raise a Nagasu guy's profile as a tourist destination. Advertising campaign. Not a bad idea. Thank you for saying so. Now, I'd like to ask you to take some photos of places around Nagasugai that you think are, mo are must-see landmarks, and the photos you take will be used as pamphlets and posters promoting Nagasugai's tourist destination. If you can shoot five sightseeing spots for me, I'll give you a fabulous gift. Hmm, interested if I don't have a camera. Oh, well, there's no problem there. I have a high-end single-lens reflex camera to lend just for this. Hi, Lizzie. How are you today? Expensive. How much is the rental? Rental? I'll loan it to you for free. I will need your contact info, though. You know, in case something comes up. Not much reason to say no. I guess I'll could snap a few shots. Okay, you've got a deal. Great! Here's your camera. This was the other thing that... Oh, oops. That I needed to do. Um, Where is it? I need to reopen this one. Tourist spots. Wasn't there another thing? Yeah, but I don't remember what it was. Okay. Um, tourist spots. On the Osei Bridge, looking south onto the river near the Peisho Furniture, crossroads of Modan ST Nagasu Boulevard. Food stalls by the West River, just north of the tourism guy. Okay, that's photo number three. Then we gotta go to... Nagaso Boulevard and Moden Street. West Ose. Mese Street. West Goin, Goin Street. Modern Street. May say Daimo Ose Bridge Fukaku Huh The crossroads of Modon ST and Nagasu Boulevard. I think we need to go this way. If I had to speculate. Last uh, ugly. Iron plate. Um, need to go up. Lizzie, there. Awesome 
garbage. So it's not this crossroads. Sad. Let's test the overeating mechanic. Yeah, I can't go higher than this, than the two bars. Spiritual. Arigatou Okay, so we can check this crossroads. Like this crossroads is the one either. Okay, you guys get to freely punch me a few times. How about that? Okay, enough punch. In. Yeah, we are little bitches. This joint is almost completed. Almost completed. Just one more food item. Yo, what's up? Lady, you were in the way. Who's shouting at me? Okay, kick me on the ground. I said, kick me on the ground. Trying to do something here. Knock me on the floor already. That's all he wants to do. Okay, one more trip back into the sushi joint. Okay, that is the sushi joint completed. Slowly move up north to see if any of the other crossroads have what I'm looking for. Also, why the fuck are there so many hosts here that are aggressive as fuck towards me? 
I don't have any of my I no, I don't. You're actually pretty cute, you know? You could earn a killing at our place. Oh, no thanks. Babe, don't be scared. We're just trying to have a little conversation. What he said, you're in good hands with us. Sorry, but I have somewhere to be. That's fine, it won't take long. Yeah, I'll be over in no time. Here, just step into the club for a bit. I said I wasn't interested. Hey, quit bothering her, you clowns. Authoritative voice, okay. Huh? What gives you the right to tell us what to do? Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? Just let her be on her way. Aww. All we want is a moment of her time. Fuck your moment of time, sweetie. You can go now. Oh, uh, okay, um, thank you. Yeah! Run! God freaking damn it, she's gone! Oh well. At least she got replaced with an even prettier package. We'll talk her up instead. Oh boy, does she have the goods. Hmm. And a fiery attitude. Just my type. Hey, Hot Stuff, you interested in making some serious <laughs> cash? Yeah, if you came to work at... If you came to work at our club, you'd be rolling in dough in no time. Yeah, right. If the rest of your club op operates like you two amateurs, they'd only be rolling in regrets, so what? no thanks. You nasty little bitch! I dare you to say that again. Now nah, this chick's so hot she thinks she can actually burn us. Hey, babe, if you want to make a good first impression, that really is not how you do it. Who said I wanted to impress you? Next time you talk to a lady, try having more class than, hey, babe, I'm too dumb to treat you with respect. Wanna bang? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do not talk like that, do I? Huh? This bimbo, I think we need to teach this biker babe wanna be in some manners. Hey, back off. Seriously, cool it. You barkers aren't known for your restraint, but this is crossing the line. Shh. Who are you supposed to be? Just another person passing by, but if you think you I'll keep on walking while some goons harass a lady, you're mistaken. Appreciate the gesture, but I'm fine. These pricks don't know what kind of lady they're dealing huh? with. Badass lady! Heh, <laughs> step right up then. We're gonna pound you both into the ground. Don't know what your deal is, but I can't let your attitude go unpunished. Let's do this. Is she actually fighting alongside us? No, she isn't. Is that the case? My oldly attractive Barker. I guess uh, to each their own, right? We're sorry, we were stupid, we'll leave. Just don't tell anyone about this or rep something line here. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, and you? I thought I'd stay, uh, stay out of this. Don't worry, this is far from the first fight I've been in. No oh, shit. Well, you did help me keep my it from getting my hands dirty. Hey, why don't I buy you a drink? My way of saying thanks, don't worry about it. I'm not in for any rewards. You might be fine with that, but I hate leaving favors unpaid. It's a karma thing. Name's Renan Nanami. Here's my business card. Zero girls? Heh. <laughs> so you can read. Yeah, that's my club. Even when people call me mama, though. I see, no wonder you carry yourself that with me. <laughs> well, when you're a woman, you gotta keep your head held high or people take advantage. People always see nightlife entertainment as a man's world, so if you're a gal like me who wants to make it in the industry, you gotta work twice hard. That makes sense. That's right, of course. Well, my job is to show I can do more than any man out there. To prove women can win in a man's world. And what pisses me off the most is people who say only men can get ahead and deny women our place in society. This was 11 years ago, guys. And this is still an issue, apparently. 
Not that I know of any of this because I don't live in any world except my own! <laughs> okay, enough social shit. <laughs> I see, so I guess you weren't all that thrilled when I said I couldn't ignore a lady being harassed, huh? It sounded like I was looking down on you. Yep, you, s you get it, still. Glad you did what you did. <laughs> Me too. Come to think of it, I haven't even asked your name. Who are you, and what do you do? I'm Suzuki. I'm a taxi driver. Suzuki, a taxi driver. Could it be something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. I'm sure there are plenty of Suzuki-sons out there. Come to think of it, Zero Girls reminds me of a street racing group I heard about not too long ago. The Vixen Zeros, if I remember right. Oh! In fact, I heard they made up a, a beautiful women. Saw their leader's car. Think people call her... Spangled Meteor? Well, aren't you an enigma? Wouldn't have picked you for the type who keeps up with street racing culture. Not many people know about that name. I don't suppose you're a street racer yourself? Oh, no, not me. Hmm, you sure? Huh, maybe I'm just reading into it. Oh, speaking of street racing, I heard an interesting story myself the other day. This Nagasu taxi driver is apparently taking on the devil killers. I think his name is Suzuki-san too. She's on to me! Coincidence, huh? Could you be the very same Suzuki? I mean, what are the odds, right? <laughs> you know, I just remembered I have some urgent business. Don't worry about that drink, I have to go. Hey, Suzuki-san, I'll pay you back some other time, okay? <laughs> Later! She heard the rumors about me. Wonder if she's a street racer herself. Could I have met the Sprinkled Meteor just now? Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, what was I looking for again? Oh, yeah. Almost S rank. Still trying to find the crossroads picture. I guess it's not here. This is Nagasu Boulevard, right? Yeah. Well, north, but it's still Nagasu Boulevard. West Mesa Street. So somewhere on Osei Bridge should be... South onto the river. Photograph! Okay, that's number two.
Yeah, S tier. Garbage complete chin pickup. Go to a convenience store nearby. inside a wall and be keep picking up garbage that's nice to know um, Kyoji building in the northeast near the intersection with Chizu Chikuzengawa through this? Ooh, interesting. Oh, Moshi so that's your name. Oh, I think I went too far. Aho Jinai! Uh, we can actually see, right? City exploration tour spots. Yeah, Donkyoji. That's the one we just did. <clears throat> Watch out for cars! This one. See what we can grab. Ooh, pay came in. That's interesting. I missed the bulb. Encounter finder helps you find people who are looking for a fight. Interesting. Damn. Yeah, no space again. Get out of my way. Who's this lady? Excuse me. You wouldn't happen to be Suzuki san from Nagasu Taxi, would you? Who's asking? I'm with Vixen Zeros. Our leader has a message for you. What is it? You have the Vixen Zeros. The Sprangled Meteor wish to challenge you to a race. She's ready and waiting whenever you can come. Why does she want to raise me? Just a taxi driver. Spangled Meteor is well aware of your exploits, and perhaps 
You are well aware of hers. Does that give you a hint? The girl Nanami. So she was the Sprangled Meteor. What do you say, Suzuki-san? Can't do it. Sorry, can't be doing that. Figured you might say that. Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. The invitation is always open. Yeah, I first need to, like, gain a little bit of driving levels, I feel, before I actually do that one. Oh, Suzuki-san, I'd like to talk to you more about what we discussed earlier with phone and trash thing. That's right. You see that bulletin board behind you? I'll be posting how much trash everyone picks up there. You're up at the top. Check it out when you want to see how much you picked up. Okay. Maybe we'll already, like, fix that up completely. It's like I picked up a lot of trash. Oh, Suzuki-san, you helped out quite a lot with the garbage collecting. The president's really pleased. Thank you. This is from the company, Rubber Ball. Do I actually have to look at the thing every single time. That's kind of annoying. Four times. Chili pepper. keeping track of me, like, collecting all this trash. Yordi, don't overthink it, it's game mechanics! True, true. Okay, stash. Okay, we still need to... I'm gonna go find that last tourist spot first. Seeing as I've been everywhere... Actually, you know what? Oh, I'm just gonna Google it. <laughs> Way easier. Yakuza 5 Remastered. <laughs> Bitch. Um, not this one. Tour spots. Okay, uh, Don Quixote, four, three, two, five, one. Oh, okay, I just apparently ran past it or something. Central Nagasu, or close to that. Can I play Mayong with you? Shogi, I mean? Is this about, oh, I beg your pardon, I got a little carried away. My name is Kungoi, blah, 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 Shogi Master. You never played soccer before, you wouldn't just go try it out. Right? Play Shogi. I don't even know if I need to do anything with Shogi. At least I know where the last tourist spot is. Hmm. Shogi. Uh, 
show, show, shogi, see what the completion. Win five matches of shogi, any opponent, any location. Okay. Take back. Don't use take back. It's fine. Even the Wow, there are actually cheat items for Shogi now. This is the... Wait, couldn't this one only attack crosswise? I think so. No, that is my mistake. If I grab this, he'll grab my knight. The silver can move backwards or double forward in that way. Does one go to the left or the right? I don't remember. Let's put it here for defense. Mistake, but you know that wouldn't be the first time. That's just a palm. When did he take three of my palms? Three? Are you not paying attention? Of course not. His eye, Yordi. Yordi never pays attention to what he does. Directions do the bees go again? The bees' knees. Explanation piece. I'm a fucking idiot. Back. He's getting his ass kicked. Yeah. 
checking my ass, bitch. Can I move this? Yeah, I can. So, yeah, mate. I'm so bad at shogi. Then again, I'm also bad at chess. Well, feel free to come try again whenever you uh, blah, 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 and suck it, bitch. You bitch. You think you're better than me? Huh? They do and they are, Yordi. Rude. Okay, so somewhere on this street should be a place where I can take a picture, right? Oh, here. Just have to win five times, which is not too bad, honestly, but... Sorry, I do not speak Japanese. いらっしゃいませ。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。I just run right past him. Hey there, how's your photography going? Well, I hope. Yeah, I've shot five locations. That's excellent. Let's take a look. His photos are wonderful. Great job. 
These are really going to get tourist interest in visiting Nagasugai. Here's the reward, as promised. Okay, um... Yeah, back to the side quest area. Or I should say the area with the last few side quests. You're the shy machine. Go, Joji Sama. Arigato. Uh, yeah, I was running into the wrong way, wrong direction. One way on the highway. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Who's this place? Oh, this is another. Also, who was shouting at me? Show. Oh, there you are. Stink face. Meantime, everyone is questioning why I'm kicking everyone's ass. Honestly, not a particular reason other than chance on money and lowering my total HP. So that we can uh, use food stalls again. food stalls, but, you know. Ooh, free stamina spark? I still haven't actually checked what all the achievements exactly are that I need to do. Or what they all are. Nice. Katasso is what we're doing right now. Okay. No, it's the Hongo we're doing right now. Sorry, I lie. Tamasa Ramen? I haven't done that one yet. Which one is this one? Original Hakata Tonkotsu Ramen. 
Oh, that's the Omega something, right? Whatever. Whatever. Yakuza, it made sense, but now it just doesn't make sense. Not many people know that Kiryu is the... Dragon Otojima. Like some information, advice on getting hostesses, taking hostess on dates, never mind. Good. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Apparently, nobody wants to ride today. It's unfortunate. Whoa! Was that a hit and run just now? I didn't see it clearly, but. Wait, Utah, bring back my Utah! What's wrong? Was anyone hurt? My boy, they carried off my little boy. He's in the car that just drove away. He was kidnapped? Alright, I'll go after them. I'm taking your taxi, Wada. Okay, better come too, ma'am. Of course, please get my Utah back safe. My Utah! Kidnapper, overtake the kidnapper. Who is the kidnapper, though? Pursuit missions. Unlike regular races, you win this race by overtaking another car within time limit, lose condition. Seems easy enough. gonna almost drive into the wrong corner. have been greedy there, honestly. If I'd used my boost, like, uh, on the right moment, I would've already gotten it. Instead, he already decided to fuck up. Actually, what is the drag? The drift is... I wonder how good the drift button is. You better not get in our way, asshole! Utah, oh god! Mom, help! Let the kid go. You and I need to have a little talk. You think we're just gonna sit down and chat? Nice fucking try. 
Now, if you don't scram this instant, we're putting you in the ground. Wait, is that you, Itoda-san? What? Do you know this guy? can't see his face, but I recognize that voice. I think he's a former employee of ours. My husband fired him the other day for embezzling company funds. I gave the money back, and now I'm debt up to my eyeballs. This was my only play. See, Itoda's son, let you to go. I promise I won't tell the police. This isn't how I thought it would go down. I went about it all wrong. I should have kidnapped the wife along with the kids. Look at all the extra bullshit I have to go through. What? You're coming along for the ride too, mystery man. I'm taking all your asses hostage. Now get over here. What? Don't give me that look. You want me to turn you into a worm f into worm food? You really have no idea how much of pain you're causing these people. Maybe I need to give you a taste of it firsthand. Yeah? Well, how about I make you taste your own blood firsthand? Your corpse won't even look human by the time we're done with you. Okay, first punch the gunner. Um, I was so scared. Thank you so much. You aren't hurt, are you? Don't worry about me. I'm just glad you two are okay. Now what should we do with these guys? Already called the police. They'll be here any minute. Moment. Oh, come on, give us a break, lady. You got your kid back alive, didn't you? You're not getting off the hook that easy. Do you seriously think giving back the money and the kid makes up for what you did? You need to wake up and realize you can't just do whatever you want, using your problems as an excuse. But I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that behind bars. Why you? Who the hell are you anyway? You sure don't act like a taxi driver. I really appreciate what you've done. If it wasn't for you, who knows what would have happened to Utah. I can't thank you enough. Hey, don't worry about it. I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. There must be something I can do to express my gratitude here. This is the least I can give you. Money! Never forget the way you helped us today. I hope you know how wonderful you are. For real, you kicked some royal ass back there, sir. Sir! Sir! Thanks for letting me borrow your taxi today, yeah, Wada son. Don't mention it. That was a fine thing you did, Suzuki-san. I'm sure anyone... Uh... I would have done it had they been in my shoes. Anyways, I'll see you around. Now, there goes a hell of a man. Hell yeah, hell of a man. Kicking royal ass, that is. Guys, I'm gonna BRB real quick. Give me a few seconds. Time to continue. Hey, I know that face. You're the taxi driver, Suzuki, right? I heard you've been picking fights with his devil killers. Man. If I had the time, I'd kick your ass in a race right now, but I don't. Guess I'll just have to kick your ass the old-fashioned way. These guys never learn, do they?
Ah, he just won't go down. But I'll get you. You'll see. I'll get your mom. I mean, what? Suzuki-san. Something is wrong. Oh, hi there, Suzuki-san. Something up, my um, Matsu-san? Well, um, I have to step out. Can you mend the phone, your matsu Yeah, sure, lean to me. How's it going, Mura matsu Afraid things aren't looking too good. Still acting up, huh? Know anything about computers, Suzuki-san? Not much, no. Hmm. Computer's been acting up lately, running slow. All of a sudden, what's this? What happened? What? Two windows keep popping up, but they don't won't stop. Wait, I know what this is. It's one of those cyber terrorism attacks. Cyber terrorism? What's that? You mean someone's hacking into our computer? You think we should do Suzuki's on cider hacking, like hacking up food? Don't understand how this is related to computers. I'm not good with them. Same goes for a lot of us here. The computer's gone, a ton, got a ton of data on it we need to hold on to. Counting on you, Suzuki san can you think of anything? Okay, let's see what I can do first of all. Whack the box. Pull out the back cord in the back of the computer. I wonder what the right answer is. Um, where is it? Cyber terrorism. Link cable? What did I do with it? Pull it out as hard as you can. Get it. It's a network, huh? Perfect, I see now. So, did that do the trick? <laughs> what is this, Suzuki-san? Some girls moaning through the computer speakers. Uh oh, this was a trap. Nakajima-san, the attacker must have known what we do. What do you mean? They probably set it up to play the moaning sound when the cord is pulled out to stop us from getting to the bottom of this. Whoever came up with this plan knows our every move. We're up against their toe. Of, we're up against tough foe. Come on, we can't have a girl moaning in the office all day, especially not one who keeps asking us to put it back in. Yeah, put it back in. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do something, Suzuki. So next up, let the cord back in. Moaning voice telling us not to pull the LAN cable out. Good thinking, Suzuki-san. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Aha, did that stop the moaning? Ah, so you. Keep on going. What is this, Suzuki-san? Saying something different now. All this stuff about not pulling out and putting it in deeper is gonna fry my damn circuits. Must they anticipate we do that as well. We'll never get any work done here with this racket going on. I guess we're gonna have to go with the last resort. Pulling the power cords out of the computer. That'll stop it in its tracks. But that could place a lot of strain on the hard disk. You realize you could lose all the data, right? Well, we ain't got much of a choice. Data is still intact now, though. It's just a morning voice. I think it's too early to give up yet, Nakajima-san. Tried everything. The damn voice is giving me bad ear... <laughs> driving me bad ear than a bell fry at midnight. 
I'm gonna do it. Let's get this over with and done with. Stay out of the way, Suzuki-san. Maybe I should stop him. Stop him. But what will people think if they walk in and hear this phone this morning? You said there's an important information in that box, right? Do you want to risk losing it? I guess not, no. What on earth is it doing? Yurikawa-san, when did you get back? Never mind that, shut off the moaning sound. It's hardly appropriate for a workplace. That's the problem, we can't. The computer got hit by a cyber terrorism attack. I mean, terrorism is national security, right? Or people security. This is pr this is probably just a virus. Terrorism? Let me see. It's just a joke program. It's not one of those nasty viruses that steals or destroys your data. I'll install my antivirus software for you. Antivirus software? One knows you need antivirus software these days. Haven't you taken any precautions at all? Didn't know I needed to. I can't believe you. 2012, guys. This is 2012. Okay, that should do it. Ah, <sighs> finally. Moaning stopped. Aha, nicely done, Hirakawa-san. Are we all good now, then? I'll take care of the virus, so don't worry about it. But this is the kind of program you often find lurking on adult sites. Nakajima-san, Mura Matsuzukun. Prefer if you didn't view those sites on work PCs from now on. What? I hope you're not suggesting what I think you are. Well, this is the computer I use, but it wasn't me. Yeah, me neither. Where's your evidence, huh? You shouldn't assume the worst of people here to Kawa, son! Closet perverts, they're the worst. At least if you're a pervert, admit it. <laughs> Take me for a fool. I'm not naive enough to fall for that line. Bah. Say what you will, I know nothing. Just glad Suzuki-san was here to help out. I was about to pull the power plug out. You were? You could have ruined the hard disk. Try to subvert it then. Suzuki-san, here's a little something to say thanks. Go on, take it. <laughs> Funny. Never a dull moment here. You can say that again. There's never a dull moment when you play fucking Yakuza games. Hmm? Look clum, I am. Just how I look always, don't? Don't play dumb. You can see it's written all over your face. What's on your mind? Say you had to live away from the people you care about, what would you do, Wada-san? Care yeah. about, huh? Sorry, shouldn't have brought this up. I forgot I said anything. If you care about them, you should have stayed. They say even when apart, you're still connected in a way. That's the truth. But people aren't always as strong as they make out to be. Still, there are plenty of ways to stay in touch, even when you can't be in person. They're in person. Guess you should do what you can now, or you might regret it. But that's just what I think. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. Hm, no worries. Okay, that's just a random dialogue option, I guess. Suki so, son, I have some work for you. Let me see. Wages will be paid into your account as you complete raise missions and taxi missions. You can withdraw your wages by accessing an ATM at a convenience store. It's worth doing as many missions as you can. Ooh, we get to customize? Heck fucking yeah. Five hundred points, standard tires, normal. Okay, that's dope. Didn't know that. Devil Killer Duel, free missions, free highway drive. You can obtain taxi points while driving. Huh. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. To Mesa Street, please, there's no hurry, so drive carefully, won't you? Of course, let's go. Arrive safely in five minutes.
In here. to remember to use the turning signal. In here. People often walk out in front of you on the roads like this. It always makes me nervous. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lady? Jesus Christ. Avoid sudden hazards. In there. People around here today. Don't you worry, you might hit someone. Relax, uh -huh. I've got this. Glad you're confident. 20 minutes of safe driving. Very happy safety. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> what the hell was that? They just fucking ran across the street there was no yeah. walk path Good enough. Thank you, driver. Can I ask your name? It's Suzuki. Ah, well, it was very smooth, right, Suzuki-san? I'll ask for you by name next time. Thank you. Be seeing you, then. Races. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Please, I'm in a hurry to meet one of my clients. Understood, let's go. Arrive safely within five minutes. Oh shit, I didn't pay attention to the road. I know. As fast as you can. That's super fast. Triple speed limit. Are you kidding me, lady? You see me trying to cross, you were that fucking far away.
about a bunch of assholes. Thank you. So I have a confession to make. I'm actually a driving examiner. Yes, and your driving skills are absolutely amazing! Fucking hit 50 people on the road, but thanks. Thank you. Driving examiner, my ass. I had feeling this client was in distress. Look after them the best as you can. I'm from Nagasu Taxi. Sorry for the wait. Can you take me to the office on Meisei Street ASAP? If I'm late today, Hi. they'll fire me. Okay. But you look pale. Is everything alright? I need to use the restroom, but first I have to punch in at work. Hurry, please. This motherfucker has to take a shit. <laughs> Three minutes. Okay, this is gonna suck, I can already tell. Good enough. Clear. <laughs> it didn't say it about any specific scores that I need to get, so... Yeah, yeah, I made it to working time, and it's all thanks to you. Happy to help. Then you need to be somewhere? Oh yeah, I better head off now, thanks. You do, Kazuma. Um, garbage collecting is done, treasure hunts, price drawings, coin walkers, mini games, air hockey. Out sub stories or side missions, right? Side stories. Race missions, 9. Taxi missions, 3 of 31. Yeah, okay, it doesn't say anything specific about scores, so that's fine. Oh, we went to level up again. Fire!
from Nagas to Taxi, sorry for the wait. To Hawaii, please, and stick to the local roads, won't you, huh? I'm just kidding, of course. Don't mind me, I just like to get to the rise of the people. This could be a long ride, okay? Please get in. Ready or not, here I come. Ha! <laughs> so zany. Do we even know where he wants to go? Three minutes. Goal. Might not be an issue this time. You, you should have seen your face. I see my face all the time. My stomach's really sore all of a sudden. Are you okay? Hold you. This was probably the easiest ride so far. Maybe I was just lucky though. <laughs> Phew. So exhausting talking to guys like you. Just kidding. Thanks for the fun ride. You're welcome. At least the customer looked pretty happy. At least someone was happy. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Ugh, I don't feel too good. I guess I had too much to drink. Jeez, I think I'm gonna throw up. Get me to Nagasugawa Street as gently as you Hi. can, please. Understood. Let's go. Arrive safely in three minutes. Restart difficulty. Bro, that camp, the car went through red. The ass hat. seconds of safe driving. Eh, good enough. Thank you, I think I'm okay now. Try not to overdo the drink next time. Yeah, well, later. C 
600 experience points. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Fukuha Street, please. If I'm in a bit of rush, but you should make it there in time, drive normally, so no need to go crazy fast. Understood. Let's go. Time limit two minutes? Says no rush. My daughter's piano recital today. Always late because of work. She told me shh. We made it in time, and it was a very pleasant ride. Hope you enjoy your drawler's performance. I will, thank you. Okay, let's do a race real quick because this is really slow. What's the job? Well, it's pickup request, but I find it rather strange. Oh, so, oh, just calling a taxi to pick you up from a highway rest area seems rather odd, don't you think? For instance, there were those rowdy packs of motorheads are always hanging out. Please be careful out there. It's probably a challenge from the devil killers. I'd better keep my promise to Fumarichu. If you're going to face off with the devil killers, I suggest you think better of it. Why is that? Well, it's only dumb luck that a regular old driver like you managed to win, and that's one time. You let your ego run wild, and you'll get uh, in over your head. These guys don't mess around. I appreciate your concern. This is something I have to do for everyone's benefit, including yours. <laughs> huh! Murumatsu. Murumatsu-kun? Yes. Is this a Devile Kellars for a foreigner or something? Everyone seems to be talking about him lately. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh. Been waiting for you, taxi man. I'm surprised you didn't turn tail and run, considering how badly you lost the other day. Ha! Ain't me you're up against. I got my Aniki here to step up for me, and he's the roughest, toughest devil killer you ever saw. Tell him, Aniki! So you're the cabbie who did a number on Nagatai. What if I am? You're here to avenge him? He sure is. Our Aniki here, he would never let. Shut up. This ain't about you, dumbass. It's not? Then why? I'm pissed that one of my mighty devil killers lost to some nobody who carts around passengers for a living. If the Four Kings got word of this, we'd blow... They'd blow a gasket. The Four Kings? Forget that shit. All you need to know is you're about to get beat to pulp all for the glory of the devil killers. Loose cannon, speed demon. Difficulty one, two laps. Nani? <laughs>
The assholes catching up. Maybe I pressed it a little bit too soon. Level 5, so almost level 6 instantly. Damn, bro. Nah, this can't be real. I'm a devil killer and he's, he's just a cab driver. Discrimination. What happened, Aniki? If the four kings find out about this, we're done for. Even so, we gotta tell him. But you can't be in deep shit if for running the devil killer's name into the ground. You little turd, stop thinking for of yourself um, over the honor of the team. We can't let this defeat stand. Yo, the four kings will give you a personal demo of why no one messes with us. You'll see. Or these four kings you keep talking about. You'll find out soon enough. You'll wish you never crossed paths with real hardcore street racers like us. Looks like bringing down the devil killers is going to take a lot longer than I thought. I'm back. Oh, hi there, Suzuki-san. Did you get along okay with the Devil fellow? I did. He might even be a regular customer now. Excellent to hear. Well, what happened? Nothing much. Did win a race, though. Wait, you beat the Devil Killers again? I believe what I'm hearing. Uramatsu-san, could it be you're familiar with the street racing scene? N no, that would be crazy. I just don't think you should be going around racing on public roads like that. I can tell you I'm not enjoying it. Yeah, right. Now look, I know you're older than me, but don't forget I was here before you. So, would it kill you to listen to your senpai sometimes? Senpai? I was bothering him so bad. Nakajima-san. Spoke tires. Japanese. How much? Points. Searching for sun. <laughs> I'm from Nagasu Taxi. Sorry for the wait. Ah, you're late. I'm in a hurry here. I have to get to my grandson's birthday party. I need you to do whatever it takes to get me to Fukuha. Ku Street as soon as possible, understood. Let's go. Everything? Anything? 3.3. 3. 
some star difficulty. We should send my acceleration again. Sorry, Oblasan. It's very better. Son's birthday. Let's look for my best, but on game go green. Thanks, driver. Glad to be of service. I better get going then. Driver son. Hyper turbo. This turbo builds faster too, but max speed drops significantly. Buying it. Childlike curiosity. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Hey, Mom, why is the sea blue? I'm afraid I don't know, sweetie. Come on, let's get in the taxi. Could you take us to Misai Street, Thanks. please? Of course, let's go. Arrive safely in three minutes. This one shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Are you fucking kidding me? Bloody bum holes. Are you what the hell? Driver, set the claws reels. Of course he is. Good service. <laughs> How this is such a cringe. Driver, our baby's born. Oh, well, I couldn't actually see the traffic lights, to be fair. Thank you, sorry about this little blabber mouth. Not at all. Hope to see you again.
Tail that car! Wait, tail that car? I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Hey pal, I need you to follow that white car up ahead, but don't let them see you. Car up there? Yeah, they're bad guys. I may not look like it, but I'm a police officer. Come on, let's roll. Okay then. Follow at a distance. Scary. Any closer and they'll see us. Glad I ran into you. I'm a detective, but my driver's license was suspended. I can help. Sorry to drag you into this, Obi Wan. A little far ahead. Can you get it a little bit closer? Okay, deal. There they are. Oh shit! Run! Ah, they took off. What do we do now? We go after them? Yeah, go get him. Ooh, is this a race as well? Shady men. Overtaking. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> you now. Oh shit, haha, <laughs> I've been after you guys for a while. Now I've caught you in the act. Oh no, what's wrong? I forgot my badge. Damn, I bet I ended up in the wash. Come on, now's our chance. Gah! <laughs> what a clown. I guess I'll just have to wipe the floor with you guys myself. What did you say? You should have stuck to driving, old man. Get him! These assholes just literally hit a cop on the back of his head. Who did that to them? Don't you remember? You took them down yourself. You must have hit your head during the fight. Yeah? Hmm. I better call it in and haul these guys off to the station. Thanks for the help, pal. It would have slipped through our fingers without you. Remember to check your pockets before you 
do the wash next time. Yeah, my mom's been telling me that since I was a kid. I'll ask for your by name next time. Everything seems to have worked out. So what, these are... Yeah, I guess I unlock things by level. Man and woman. A couple, perhaps? Perhaps! I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wave. Ah, there you are. The girl I'm going on a date with should be here soon. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. So you're on a date today? That's right. It's the first date I've ever gone on, so I'm really nervous. Sato-san, the girl I'm going with, is incredibly cute, and she has a great personality to match. I hope I can show her a good time. Don't worry, I won't have anything to talk about. What's well, a good thing to talk about when you want to impress a girl on your first date? Well, I think it's best to be yourself and talk about what interests you. See, my right. interests, huh? Well, I'm really into anime with cute girls. <clears throat> I've literally seen every series, even ones nobody else knows about. Phew, I could talk about them all day. Hmm. Hmm. What's the matter? I'm just not diving that deep on the first right. date. Hmm. You think so? Some people might not understand, really. Now, what am I supposed right. to talk about? About something more relatable. More relatable? I don't know if I can do that. Oh gosh, my palms are getting all sweaty. What am I gonna do? Yamada kun, sorry to keep you waiting. Holy shit! Bombshell alert! I'm running during the mood. Could you help Hi. me out? I'll do my best. Bombshell alert! I was so surprised when you asked me out on a date, Yamada kun. You were? You date a lot of girls? Mm, uh, every day in my dreams. What? Every day? You see so many different girls? No, no, no. Don't worry, Satsun. This is the first time I've gone out with someone. Meat space. Hmm? What's meat space, Yamada kun? Uh, meat space is just means in real life, but that might make him sound like too much of a nerd. <sighs> A rare, wonderful thing. Oh, nobody's ever said that to me before. How kind of you. Thanks, Yamada-kun. She's actually just very shy as well. I'll only say it because it's true. You were the docile, shy kind of guy. But you're actually pretty impassioned and romantic. I like that. She bought it. You have any hobbies, Satsun? Yes, I'm a big fan of music. I've been listening to a lot of cafe-style tunes lately. Things like Bossa Nova and jazz. Whoa, that's awesome. You like music as well, Yamada -kun? Of course, I listen to music every night. Guess we've got something in common. We should get along great. Think so? What type of music do you like? I only listen to any songs. Oh, oops. Any songs? You mean anime theme songs? Uh, no, why would I want to listen to that? That's not the any songs I was talking about. What were you talking about? Um, when I said any songs, I meant... Um, what was it again? Any songs is... Short for Animal Songs! The name of a singer. Let's go with that one. That's it. Most people haven't heard of him, but he has a pretty dedicated fan base. He's a real legend. Benjamin John Lenny songs. Oh, I've never heard of him. What kind of music does he make? It's a really heavy classic techno pop. A bit too uh, eclectic for my taste. I can't even imagine what that sounds like. It was something like a little more approachable I was going to ask to borrow a CD from you, but I guess our tastes are too different, so um, that kind of spoiled the mood. What kind of guys do you usually go for South Sun? Hmm, let me think. And some guys with good fashion sense, right? No, appearance doesn't really matter to me. It's all by their interests, like active guys who know about the latest trends. No, that stuff isn't all that's important to me either. Must be personality then. Bet you like guys who are outgoing, have lots of friends. No, well, there's more to personality than that. Then what kind of guys do you like, Satsun? Hmm. The thing I like is a guy who 
are comfortable being themselves. Comfortable being themselves. Doesn't matter whether they are unattractive, have strange interests, or poor social skills. As long as they're happy with who they are and don't try to be fake like gen like genuine people. Genuine people. That's right, that's the kind of guy I like. But it is best to just blur it all out, or should I try hinting at with the start? I think it's important to apologize sincerely for trying to deceive her. Right, that comes first, doesn't it? I'm lying to you. What? Yes, about the meaning of meat space and about the taste of music. See. Why would you lie though? The truth is I'm obsessed with anime. I'm sorry I deceived you. You must hate me now. No, huh? I actually think it's great that you're passionate about something. Doesn't matter what it is, there are plenty of people out there who don't care about anything. Maybe you can show me a bit about why you think anime is great, Madakun. What? You want me to teach you about anime? Sure. I have to take it slow, though. Wait, does that mean you're willing to see me again? Yeah, of course. Let's take your time getting to know each other. What's the matter? Zoom! <laughs> you're funny. I'm glad my advice worked out! Same. Me too. Here we are. Thank you. I'll do my best to make things work with her. Here's the fair. Hi. Thank you. Bye! 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 Veteran driver. Okay, let's see you. What's a Cassis? Leaving town, the client is a woman who sounded rather forlorn. I wonder what's the matter. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. To the airport, please. She been crying? Her eyes are all puffy. Maybe she is going through a tough time. Of course, let's go. Through... To the airport, please. Now, this is another quest. Uh, I don't actually have to drive. This is actually chilled. Looks like she's upset about something. I'll see if I can strike a conversation. I see Hakata has a special place in your heart. That's a very astute observation. I'm just staring out with such fondness. Yes, this is where I was born and raised. I have so many unforgettable memories here. Never thought I'd end up leaving. Oh, why are you leaving? I'm to be married to a man in Tokyo. I'm off to go live with him there. He's from a good family and quite wealthy. I don't look too happy about it. <laughs> well, no. You're quite perceptive, aren't you? I was actually seeing a guy here in Hakata for many years. We were in love. He was a writer with hopes of being a novelist one day. We were planning to get married once he won the literary, literary prize, but I couldn't wait for that. Does he think about you getting married now? I couldn't bring myself to tell him. I left without saying a word. I think he'll be able to forgive me. I think he will. In time, right? There's still time to turn back and tell him. Oh, I couldn't bear to see the look on his face. Forgive me for saying this, but are you trying to spare his feelings or yours? Look, I have no idea if you're making the right call and going off to get married. But I do think if you run away without saying a word to him, you'll only end up regretting it in the end. I can't see that as being a good for either of you. Oh. Well, what are you going to do? We're almost on the ramp. Uh, at the on-ramp. Can I ask you to turn back? I think I'll wait another day to go to Tokyo. You got it. Yeah, we are, really. I must thank you. 
If I had gone to Tokyo today, I would have had to live with that regret for the rest of my life. I have to tell him face to face. Thank you for helping me realize that. Here's my fare. Will you accept the tip too? Nice. That means we did a good job. <laughs> I appreciate it. Good luck on the rest of your travels. Smack that. All on the floor. Smack that. Give me some more. <sighs> I'm from Nagasu Taxi. Sorry for the wait. Hey, Nagasu Boulevard, please. Hey. Of course, let's go. Okay, this is a regular ride, right? Or not. Apparently not. Did you see that TV documentary on taxi drivers last night? I didn't catch it. Oh, I must have missed it. Oh. What am I thinking? You're probably way too busy with work to watch TV. Could you tell me what it was about? Sure, I'll give you the gist. A guy who used to be company president went bankrupt and got a job as taxi driver. He's only pulling a little over 100 yen a month now. 100k yen. It was kind of sad to watch, actually. They say that most taxi drivers are people who used to do other jobs. Is that true? In a lot of cases, yes. Does that apply to you? Yes, really? What job did you do before this? Were you a company president too? I did lead a lot of people. Kind of like president does. Seriously? That's just like the documentary. Hmm. You do seem to carry yourself differently than taxi other taxi drivers. How big was the company you ran? It was... Well, big. Whoa, what is it called? I prefer not to dwell on the past. Mm, I see. Sorry about that, pal. But you were a big shot anyway. I can tell by the way you talk. Mm. I won't ask why you became a driver, but hang in there, okay? You'll get your time in the sun again. Just keep working hard. I'm rooting for you. Right. Thank you. Here we are. Thanks. That was a good ride. Here's the fare. I will even give you a tip too. Hey. Thank you. Keep your chin up, Mr. President. I find it funny that they decide to use a, a business that they decide to talk about the Yakuza as if it's a business or a company or such. Thank you for choosing Nagasu Taxi. Where can I take you? May I say street, please? That suit? I'm guessing he's a businessman. Then come on in. Not a Yakuza, that's for sure. Has too many glasses. Man, that did not go well. He sounds a bit depressed. Maybe I should say something. Rough day, sir? Mm, oh, yeah. Messed up a little today at work. Messed up how? Well, I didn't agree with what my supervisor was saying, and I kind of lost my temper, so I yelled at him a lot. Man, I'm never getting the promotion. Should have just kept my mouth shut. I was fooled to fight a battle I couldn't win. I disagree. You have to follow the path you think is right. You think so? Yeah, it's better to define yourself at work by speaking your mind as opposed to brown-nosing your way up the ladder. At least that's what I think. Maybe you're right. Thanks for saying that. Good, that seems to have cheered him up. In any case, I'm really dreading the moment I walk through my front door. I cannot see it going well. Why is that? Well, my wife was hoping I'd get promoted, and I know she's only gonna get disappointed. How am I supposed to look her in the eye, let alone explain to her what happened? Even so, I think you should tell her the truth. She'll be furious, I just know that. Look, you two are married. Your wife should love you for who you are and not what your job is. I'm sure that's already the case. Besides, what you did today took a lot of courage. At least give yourself credit for that. Hmm. You know what? Maybe you're right. Guess it couldn't hurt to tell my better half the truth every now and then, eh? Seems like he's in a much better mood now. I like these ones, little dialogue thingy, instead of having to fucking focus on the drives itself. Here we are. Thank you for riding with Nagasu Taxi. No, thank you for being such a good listener. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulder. Here's the fare. Take this tip as well, you earned it. 
<laughs> Are you sure? Of course. Hope to see you around. Life ain't easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's calling teasy wheezy. Creepy beady deedy. I'm from Nagasa Taxi. Sorry for the wait. It's fine. Take me to Fukuoka Street, kiddo. Oops. Guess you're not the kiddo anymore, are you? <laughs> I bet this guy's gonna talk my ear off. Please, get in. <laughs> okay, is this an actual ride? No. I usually... <clears throat> I usually drive my own car, but tonight I'm going out drinking, so I thought I'd take a taxi. Please abuse surface. Well, aren't you polite one? How's business? I have good days and bad days. I read in the paper that they've they relaxed the regulations, and now there are too many taxis competing for too few passengers. Must have been hard making money as taxi sneaking driver, eh? I'd say it's hard in every industry. I suppose you're right. These days it's tough making a living no matter what you're doing. Gotta say, driver, I admire your broad perspective. Thank you. I guess sometimes it's hard to find customers in the taxi business. Can be. Just when you think you got a passenger, they only want to go a short way down the road. That does happen, yes. What goes through your head at times like that? I welcome any customer, even if they're going just a few blocks on their way. Really? You don't secretly wish they'd take a longer trip? Well, yes, at times. But an empty cab earns nothing at all, so even short fares are available source of income. Hey, I like that attitude. Good on you. But all sorts of people have been in this cab, eh? Driver, you got that right. I imagine there's been a few you're not too fond of. Tell me, what sort of passenger gets on your nerves the most? Hmm. Couples making out on the back, out in the back seat, drunks for the most part. Hmm. I don't really know what the right answer is here, so let's go for drunks. I have to say, anyone who's drunk. Ah, right. People who had a few too many tend to get unruly. Yes, but if you recall, I'm heading for drinks right now. Right, I was thinking if you were a nice guy, to call you for the trip home too. Since you don't want a drunk in your taxi, I guess I should ask someone else. Damn, I made it when things awkward. I, I, I guess I should have gone for that. For the couples, but... Like, the first answer was also him, but it's not like I really give a shit if people... Ah, it doesn't really matter. Pleasure is all mine. Thanks for the smooth trip. Here's what I owe you. Hi. Thank you. Well, be seeing you. Ooh. Hell yeah, we're going for orange. Orange is my color, baby. Um... Taxi driver.
but there doesn't seem to be anything bad here. There are a few... No, I think the driving missions list, conversation taxi missions, it's actually not a lot. It just looked like a lot more. There are a lot more conversation missions, apparently. The Harrying Harpy. Let's see, which is the one that we just did? We did that one, life ain't easy. Couples making out in the back seat. <laughs> okay, fuck my life. You're late, nagging hag. I was told on the phone you'd be here in five minutes. You're late by 15 seconds. Okay, Karen, shut up. I'm sorry, the rope was a little congested. <laughs> Now you're making excuses? I don't believe it. I've never had a driver this rude before. I'm going to complain to the taxi bureau. I apologize. Hmm. Well, I'll let it slide this time. Hurry up and let me in already. Looks like this one. So if those passengers just complains Hi. about everything. Of course, let's go. Get me to Nagasu Boulevard in three minutes. Got it? There's no way I'll make it in three minutes. I'm sorry, but that's not possible. I don't think it's possible to get you there in three minutes. Why not? The last taxi I took got me there in three minutes. Are you telling me you won't do what I ask? I'm going to complain to the taxi bureau. What time was it when you last took this trip? Oh, it was two or three in the morning. Well, at that time of night, it might be doable, but right now the roads are busy. Hmm. Well, just go as fast as you can. She seems to have settled down. That noise is bugging me. Noise? That blowing sound. Oh, that's just the sound of the heater. Well, it, it's really getting on my nerves. Gah. <laughs> Ask for her preference. Shall I turn the heater off? What? If you switch off the heater on a cold day like this, I'd catch a cold. Are you going to pay my medical bills? Then it's fine to leave it on. Yeah, yeah, just leave the damn thing on. What about the noise? Shh, I'm used to it now. Seems to have calmed down. That's where she wanted me to drop her. But, ma'am, there's a truck parked where you want me to drop you. So I'll stop a bit short. What? You won't drop me where I ask you to? It's only a few meters away. Ugh, fine. Apologize for the inconvenience. Yeah, well, you realize you won't get paid now, right? What? Is that how it goes? It's your job to take me where I ask you to. Whether a few meters or a few hundred meters, I don't have to pay if you don't drop me there. Or do you want me to complain to the bureau that you didn't bring me to where I wanted to go? I could get your license revoked, you know? I could shut down your entire company! Nah, 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 nah. Got it? I'm not just bullying you. I'm trying to uphold standards here. She's really going too far. What am I going to do? <laughs> Calmly persuade her. <laughs> I should avoid getting emotional here and try to persu persuading her calmly. Excuse me, ma'am. <clears throat> there may have been some defiances with my service and I apologize for that. <laughs> Defiances all over the place. You didn't even take me to the whole way. Well, can you tell me how I could take you to the spot you requested under the circumstances? Uh, huh? You'll have to forgive me, but I haven't been doing this very long. I'd like to hear what you suggest I do. Why me? You did say you want to improve the standards of the surface. Yeah, but... Uh, never mind. Just pull up here. Alright. Seems to have calmed her down. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I grumped the whole way. I probably took it a bit too far. Here, it's fair, and I think you deserve a tip for hearing me out too. A Karen that apologizes? Nani? 
Thank you. I appreciate the service you gave me, driver. I think I'll be in a better mood next time. <laughs> Suzuki-san, there is more work to do. I'm from Nagasui Taxi. Sorry for the wait. A couple, huh? Uh, driver, give us a lift, will you? Hey. Of course, let's go. They're quiet. Maybe they had a fight. I'll try making small talk. Are you two on a date? Two on a date to date? That's right. We're heading out for some fun. What do you have planned? Can't tell you that. I'm taking the lady here on surprise day. I see. Sounds exciting. The woman doesn't look very happy to be here. Is she not having a good time? Your friend is the quiet type, huh? Yeah, she... Driver, the man is... He's... Shut it! No talking! Huh? Sorry about that. She may look all docile, but she, once she gets started, she can't shut her... Wouldn't want her distracting you or anything. I smell trouble. Maybe this woman's caught up in something. Stay on course. She may be mixed up in something, but it's my job to follow the customer's instructions. Driver, please help me. This man is abducting me, huh? You little bitch! I'm taking this girl because she owes me money. If you want to get back in one piece, best take me where I want to go and no funny business. I don't owe you a thing! You signed on as, as a, guarant a guarantor? Same thing. Either way, I got nothing to do with our driver friend, now step on it. Okay. Better not squeal to anyone about this. You say a word and she gets it. Help me please, quiet! Keep your mouth shut. Wait. What, you got a problem? You haven't paid your fare, huh? You're worried about cash at time like this? Asshole. Boom! Oof. Ah, you're gonna pay for that. Think you're hot stuff, do you? I'll beat you to a pulp! I'll beat you to a pulp! You beat me, Kiryu Kazuma, to a pulp. Like C try. <laughs> Ah, come on, I'll take you back. Okay, hey, give me a break here. If I don't bring her back, the boss will wring my neck. Would you rather I wrung your neck here instead? Yeah, no, no. That's what I thought. Thank you so much. No problem. But it did get a little dicey there. Yeah, I should never have signed on as Guarantor to my friend's loan. Be more prudent in the future. Yes, please be more careful. Let's get going. Wait, she was... She signed for her friend's loan? And she... Wow. Here we are. Thank you. Here's the fare and a little tip as well. I appreciate it. No, I'm the one who should be thank grateful. I owe you my life. I'm so glad you were my driver tonight. Yeah, any other driver would have fucked up, yo. Looking forward to love. Sorry for the wait. I'm here from Nagasu Taxi. Oh, no worries. I'd like to go to Osei Bridge, please. She's quite attractive, but... She has a huge nose hair sticking out. Wow! Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, no, I was... Just no, no say, noticing something, please get in. <clears throat> nice day, isn't it? It is. She just really has no idea there's a nose hair dangling right above her upper lip. Should I do? I'll ask about what her plans are first. Uh, that's so funny. Sort of. It's cringe funny. Got some kind of special occasion today? Oh, thanks for asking. Actually, I'm going on my very first date. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, I was never really a, the popular girl in school. 
You can actually see the nose hair hanging in the model. <laughs> Fucking great. But I gathered up the courage to ask this guy I like out to dinner, and he said yes. And then you're off to a good start. Aw, oh, thanks. So I did a little research into the things he likes, and I bought myself a new outfit, complete my... with... complimenting purse. I think I'm good to go, but I'm still a bit nervous. It being my first day in all. It can be a bit of scatterbrain sometimes, so I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Going on a date, better point out that knows her after all, but I wouldn't want her to crush her confidence either. I think I should use a subtle... subtle... Gasp! I think she noticed. <laughs> Here's the fare. Take this tip as well. Are you sure? Yes, thank you for um yeah. <laughs> no problem. I hope your date goes well. Me too. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Door to the future. I'm here from Nagasu Taxi. You called? Yes. You must be fresh out of university. Wonder why you look so exhausted. Yeah, I need to go to. Chikuzan Gawa Street. Then let's be on our way. Could you uh, just leave the meter on and drive around a bit? Sure. They monitor salespeople like me using GPS these days, so we always have to be out toiling away can just kill extra time at the cafe <sighs> oh, my shoulder hurts he must be really tired never worked in sales myself but I hear it's pretty tough thanks for understanding feels good to talk to someone who actually gets me hey you mind if I get a few things off my chest seems like you might know what I'm talking about by all means, thanks, I appreciate it. The truth is, I've only been at this job for six months, and I'm already thinking about leaving. Oh? I was hoping to get assigned to planning or production, but they had to go put me in sales. I have absolutely no interest in this kind of work. It's a real struggle to get motivated, if you know what I mean. All I think about these days are ways to avoid doing my job. At this rate, I'd better off quitting, don't you think? Uh, if you want to do something else, then leave, I guess. If there's another job you'd rather do, I think it's fine to leave. That's a fair point, but that's also kind of the problem. I can't really think of anything I'd rather do. Do you know any good jobs out there? Hmm, what kind of work would you enjoy? If I knew that, that's already switched jobs. Say, do you think, do you like the job you're doing right now as a driver? No, it's boring as hell. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. Huh? You're lucky you found a job you like. Maybe I'll try driving a taxi as well. But I enjoy it because I take it seriously. As long as you have the right attitude, you can make any job interesting. That's... enlightening. Perhaps if I take my sales position more seriously, I'll end up enjoying it. Right. Maybe try making your decision after you've given it a little more effort. You're right. I guess how you approach your work determines whether or not you find it rewarding. Then, dang, I shouldn't be wasting time here. I've got a job to do. Hey, thanks for the ride. I'm ready to give it another shot. Good to see that he's cheered up. Here's the fare, and let's add a little something on top. Thank you. All right, time to get some work done. Suzuki-san. 
Tornado tires. Ooh, those are dope as fuck. Sky blue. Oh wait, we already unlocked that angel. That sounds like dope. Shady man. Slim, shady. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. <laughs> Suzukake Lane, please. Of course, let's go. Shady people all over the place. Man, I'm stuffed. Couldn't eat another bite. What did you have? Foie gras, and then caviar and truffles. Must be a lot richer than he looks. I'm very jealous. <laughs> it all comes down to leg work in the end. I've been training. Leg work? <laughs> They're good, even if I do say so myself. Strange guy, he's got me curious. What do you do for a living? Oh, I don't work, but how do you put food on the table? <laughs> it's pretty narrow-minded to assume you need a job to eat, Trevor. He doesn't look like he's from a rich family. Here we are, the first come to. I'll show you how I'm able to eat that gourmet stuff, Trevor. Step one. Hey, look over there. Hey, no free rides for him if I can help it. <laughs> oh, wait, are we actually doing... Oh shit. Chase sequence. I don't know where this lady suddenly came from. It's, at least I can't actually uh, lose stamina here. That's good. Oh, I can... They've improved the chase sequence in five! Oh, oops. Ow. you catch up to me? No regular taxi driver could do that. Hey, what's going on over there? You're that Okada guy. There's a warrant out for you. Shh. He's been scamming local restaurants for a while now. Thought you could get away without paying your fare, huh? Surely you can't afford a taxi ride with all those mules you've been skipping out on. Now pay up, you scoundrel. All right, all right. <laughs> now you're coming with me. I'll run you next time, driver. You just wait. Hm, we'll see. Thanks for assisting with the arrest. Goodbye! Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. Flight of Fancy. That's the one we need to do last after doing all the race missions to get as many points and unlocks as possible. Uh, international Taxi. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Hi, looks like a foreign or a tourist. Please go to Meisei Street, understood. Let's go. Do you speak Japanese? Yes, but just just a little. A little, huh? Fuo, Fukuoka is great. The food, delicious. What did you eat? Hmm, the name, I forgot. Well, what was in it? Spicy red eggs. Spicy red eggs. Hmm, that must be... Uh... Karasai Menta. This one. 
Was it called Karashi Mentaiko Spicy Cod Roll? Yes, Karashi Mentaiko. Very, very delicious. Number one food. <laughs> I'm glad I could clear that up. Hey, you. Yes. People in Fukuoka often say Bari. They do use that a lot around here when they want to stress something. Please tell me what Bari means in English. Bari in English, huh? Bari. It's a local term they use to empathize things, so I guess you'd say very in English. I see. So buddy is very easy to remember. Hey, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Looks like he gets it. Hey, you. Yes. I want to get a tattoo with Chinese character. Tell me a cool phrase, yeah? Chinese character tattoo. Hmm? You should get one that actually means something instead of just pick one that looks good. Do you want to say, hmm, I like to live life to the fullest. Life to the fullest, huh? Let's see, what Japanese phrase would convey that? Phrase about encounters. How about Ichigo Ichi? What is the meaning? It means you should treasure every encounter. Good. I guess it is like you and me. <laughs> That's right. Decided. I'll go on Ichigo Ichi tattoo. Thank you. That went over well. Thank you very much. You are a good driver. Why did I, like, what, what accent was I trying to convey with this guy? I don't know. Why do I give a shit? Looking for stories. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. It doesn't seem like a typical office oh, no. worker. Hi, can you give me a right. ride? Yes, of course. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Where are you headed? No one in particular right now. Can I get you to just drive for a while? Okay, how long are we talking? Well, it depends on the conversation. Hmm, what a strange passenger. Taxi drivers meet all sort of people, right? Yes, you're probably a good judge of people. See if you can guess my job. A breeder! <laughs> a freelance writer. Are you a freelance writer? Whoa, you got it in one guess. You're pretty good at sizing people up, Paul, right? This should make for an interesting interview. Interview? Oh, sorry. For not introducing myself. The name is Muranaka, and I'm a freelance writer, just like you said. Are you interviewing taxi drivers? I believe very variety is the spice of life. I meet all sorts of people in my job, but I figure taxi drivers would have even more perspective. So I've been interviewing cabbies all over the country to hear their stories. I'm putting together an article on it. Scene. How are the interviews going? Well, I've interviewed a few drivers already, but all they want to do is boast about the big tips they got back during the bubble economy. Economy? Ecodomy? Sure, you already. Economy. Do you have any stories that stand out in particular? It can be anything. Something that stands out, huh? The 50k yen tip. <laughs> I guess the first day I did this job is what st is what sticks out in my memory. I see, memories of your first day as driver. I'm not from around here, so I wasn't confident I could navigate properly. It was nerve-wracking, not knowing if I'd reached the destination. Anyway, I finally got m my first passenger. It turned out to be an elementary school boy who'd never ridden in a taxi before. He brought a map showing the way to his grandmother's house, which helped me a lot. I see, so it was a first for both of you. He must have been nervous. Yes, but after he had paid and gone out, he looked so much more grown up to me than when he first got in. It motivated me to knuckle down and be brave, just like the little kid. Maybe he's not that interested. That's a great story, driver. I'd love to write about Sid in my article. You're welcome to. Glad I could give him some good material. Don't suppose you have any inside stories on the taxi industry, do you? Things that are ordinary for people in your line of work, but not well known by others? Let's see. 
let's see. We have the taxi lights also serves as a hazard light. You know what happens to the meter when you reverse. I could tell you about taxi jargon. Nani the fuck, bro? The hazard light thing, right? You know the light on the roof of taxis? Yes. The one with the company name on it, right? They usually aren't switched on unless the taxi is empty, but you can make them blink red to warn others in an emergency. Whoa, really? I never knew that. Where's the switch that makes that blink? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. It's something where you can push without alerting the passenger. Oh, now I'm curious. But I think I could still use this in my article. I'm glad I could give him some good material. Material! Here we are. Thank you so much for a fruitful ride. Plenty of material for my article now. Here's the fare and a tip for your help. Hey. Thank you. I'll do my best to write a great article. Good luck with the job. Job Budiska! Konareyon. The Masked Man. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Where to? A place nobody goes. Somewhere quiet. Guess he wants Hi. to be alone. Understood. Let's go. Maybe I should try to make conversation. All I can see is that mask though. Do you have a cold, sir? I notice you're wearing a mask. Do you have a cold? Oh. <laughs> I hope you feel better soon. It's nice to hear kind words from a stranger. Maybe he's going through a tough time. Driver, yes. How is business for you these days? Well, I do okay. Good for you. I just lost my company. In fact, my life has pretty much hit rock bottom. Things got heavy fields on how do I respond with that. Misfortune can lead to new opportunities. Did you ever play on a trampoline as a kid? Trampoline? Yes, but why? When you jump on a trampoline, the deeper you sink, the higher you bounce back. Yeah, so? I think the same goes for life. You say you hit rock bottom, but that could be a chance to bounce back higher than ever. I see. I think times of misfortune are good opportunities to try new endeavors. I like the sound of that. You know, I might just have found a spark of hope. Looks like I've managed to cheer him up. Can I ask you to let me out here, driver? Okay. I wonder what he's doing way out here. Are you sure this is where you want to get out? Yes. The truth is, I was thinking of robbing you at first. My company fell apart and I've run out of savings. I thought robbery was the only option I had. That explains the mask. But after talking to you, I start to see things differently. Don't worry, I have enough money on me to pay you. Here's the fare, and a little extra on top. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. You talked me out of something I would have regretted for the rest of my life. I know things must be hard for you now, but stick with it. I will. I will work my way up again from scratch, and someday I know I will find happiness. Seems I somehow managed to turn his life around. Not bad feeling. Not a bad feeling, yo. Taro. Yeah, level four. Getting more speed. Finding happiness. Happiness so far away. I'm from Nakasu Taxi. Sorry for the wait. Well, they sure are well coordinated. To Osa Bridge Street, Hi. please. Of course, let's go. It's our three month anniversary going to be together forever, Cancun. I feel like we made... we were made for each other, Mitan. I was just thinking the same thing. A couple of lovebirds. Hmm? Why are you peeking at us in the mirror? It's just thinking how lucky you both are. I was just thinking how annoying you both are! Haha, <laughs> 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 
People stare at us on the street a lot too. They're just jealous of how in love we are. Wouldn't it be funny if they're uh, actual siblings as well though? Something like that. Worry. I mean it's a Japanese, it's Japanese. Like they're not worried about throwing in incest somewhere. I'd laugh my ass off for the cringe. Worry driver. You'll find your soulmate soon enough, just like me and Mitan. Good luck, they're in a good mood. Makeup looks amazing today, Mitan. Thanks, I copied it off this idol I saw on TV. Haruka Sawamura. Hmm. I see. But you're much cuter than Haruka Sawamura, Mitan. No way. You're just saying that. No, I mean it. You're just as pretty as any of those idols, Mitan. Driver, my girl was way is way cuter than Haruka Sawamura, right? <laughs> yes, your girlfriend is cuter. See, the driver agrees with me. You could even be on TV if you wanted me, Tan. Yay, maybe I'll start looking for an agency. <laughs> be star in no time. At least they're happy. Say, Mitan. Yes, Kenkun. Did you talk to your dad about us getting married? Well, about that. What's wrong? It says he's completely against me marrying a guy who doesn't have a job. Huh? What does, does that matter? Can't he see how much we love each other? It means love, right? Work has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I think so too. Let's run away together in this taxi meet on. Yeah, let's elope, Cancun. Driver, just take us someplace far away. I can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that, huh? Why not? Do you have money on you for a trip like that? Uh, how much money do you have, Mitan? Me? I don't have anything for all me today. Don't you have any cash, Cancun? It's got around 3,000 yen. Don't even get us out of Fukuoka. So we need money if we want to run off and get married, huh? I better look for a job. I'm sure you can get one easily, Cancun. Yeah, once I have a job, your dad might even warm up to the idea of us getting married. That's right. That'd be perfect. We won't be going anywhere today, driver. Finally coming down to Earth. <laughs> uh, this is... <laughs> These guys are not as incel as the incest idea that I have, but they are pretty fucking brain dead. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's enough out of me. Thank you. Here's the fare. I wish I could give you a tip, but 3,000 yen is all I have. I appreciate it. I hope you find the same happiness we have soon. See you. Well, at least they're in a good mood. You can say that again. At least they're in a good mood. This is why I love the Yakuza games. The silliness of the side quests are just... Fucking great on the other side. I'm from Nagasu Taxi. Sorry for the wait. You sure took your time. Oh well, well. Aren't you a handsome one? This guy is pretty feminine. Has a pretty feminine way of speaking. Shall we be on our way? Oh gee, mister. I get car sick when I sit in the back. Could I possibly sit in front with you? Uh, okay. On the other side. Sorry, but there are rules. I'm afraid you'll have to call another taxi. I don't think that's really the case. Mm. I'm sorry, but there are rules. I'm afraid that when we carry a single passenger, we have to ask that they stick in the back. I hope that's alright with you. Ah, oh, you're such a party pooper. But I do find it hard to resist the commands of such a fine-looking man. Appreciate it. <laughs> I just love that serious look on your face. Thank you. <laughs> Can I ask your name, driver? It's Taichi Suzuki. I'll call you Takun. What's your blood type, Takun? It's type 0 or type O, whatever you call it. No way, I'm type B. Did you know that type O and type B people are really compatible? I didn't. Perhaps fate has brought us together. What do you think? 
I think fate plays a part in all encounters. <laughs> Blood type doesn't really come into it. It sounds so pretentious, Takun, but I like it. You're really getting me steamed up. Okay. We'll be there soon. Oh, that's a shame. I wouldn't spend some more time talking to you, Takun. How about we go out for tea or something? Maybe some other time. <laughs> um, have more work to do. Maybe some other time. Aw, you're such a hard worker, Takun. Well, I like this job. Oof. Oh, did I make him mad? Just got shot with Cupid's arrow. You say the most beautiful things, Takun. I'm in love. Um, well, wouldn't want to get in the way of your work, Takun. Really is a shame, but it looks like this is goodbye for now. Mind if I ask for you again? Of course not. I haven't met a man of your caliber for a while. My little heart is pounding away. Hmm. I hope you'll let me sit up front next time. I'm afraid that I'm only joking, but I will ask for you again. I had a great ride, so you deserve a tip. Hey. Till next time, Takun. <laughs> that would make me so uncomfortable. Seduced by beauty. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Can you take me to Ose Bridge? She's not exactly dressed for the wait. weather. Of course, let's go. Oh dear. Quite a long face. I got stood up for a date. Even brought this outfit specifically for today, but it was all for nothing. Sorry to hear that. Say, driver. Yes? I don't suppose you could take me on a date? <laughs> what? You mean now? Yes, it won't take much of your time. Just walk with me a little, okay? Sorry, but I can't do that. You take your job pretty seriously, huh? Or do you just not want to be seen with me? No, that's not it. I guess I'm not all that attractive, am I? I'm sure deep down you think I'm an ugly witch. Not at all. Yeah, yeah, nobody ever gives me the time of day. I'm so lonely. Maybe I'll just throw myself out of this taxi and get it over with, so I'd better do something. Maybe I can cheer you up. If you're having trouble, any talking to me would help. I might be able to cheer you up. Whoa, you're very kind. Okay. I give up. Truth is, I'm a decoy. A guy put me up to this. Yeah, he has me to do whatever it takes to lure taxi drivers out of their cars. And a bunch of heavies come and demand money. But why do you go alone with, along with that? My father borrowed money from some shady. Some shady and now they're asking for a huge sum of interest. He can't pay, so they made me do this. If it's an illegal loan, why not complain? I can't do that. These guys are really scary. What's a girl like me going to say to them? Hmm, say, driver. I know this is a lot to ask, but could you come with me to meet these guys? I just can't do this anymore. Maybe you could persuade them to let us off the hook. Sure, I think it can help you out. Thank you. Sorry, driver. Where are these guys? There they are. So you're the leader of the blackmailers, huh? I want to talk to you about money or father owes. Well, you sure took your time. <laughs> Sorry, this driver just wouldn't take the bait. <laughs> Should have listened, I told you my job was to do whatever it took to lure taxi drivers out, right? So it was all a trap. Look, you're a nice guy, and I really didn't want to do this. Shut your face, this ain't the time for that. We got business to take care of. I know, I know. So, taxi driver, you better pay up and leave, or we're gonna bring the pain. You're not getting a single yen from me. Then looks like we're gonna have to pummel you until you change your mind. Get him! It's time for Kiryu time! Do you know what that means? That means pummeling for you guys! This 
guy is going on the... Guy's tough as nail, damn it. I. Sorry. Since my parents got in depth, I had n to do this for money, but I'll stop now, I promise. I suggest you do. I'm really sorry. Here's my fare and a little extra for what I put you through. <laughs> I'll stick to honest, paying jobs. Thanks for getting me out of this mess. No, if you hadn't met this way, I'd take you on a real date at any time. Okay, bye. Well, that was unexpected. At least it seems she had a change of heart. Of course she had a change of heart. She just beat up the Yakuza again, right in front of her. Double trouble, make it double. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Chiken Zugan Gawa Street and step on it. And no detours, I the shortest, quickest route. They've got a bit of an attitude. Of course, let's go. Man, I'm getting jittery. Got a smoke on you? Yeah, I got it. Give me one, I'm all out. I'm afraid this is a non smoking taxi. Shut the fuck up and drive! They're pretty full of themselves. I forbid them from smoking. Sorry, but I'll have to ask you to refrain from smoking in here. Hey, we're the customers here, driver. Yeah, the customer comes first. Indeed, you're both valued customers. But many of my other customers like the smell of cigarette smoke. I smoke myself, so I know how you feel. But please hold on for just a bit longer. Shh, fine. Better get us where we're going quick. Thank you for your patience. Seems to have worked. God, really dying for a sick. The longer you go without, the more you want it, huh? I'm getting the shakes myself. Hey, you. I'm talking to you, idiots. Talk to us about something to distract us. I'm not really the chatty type. Aren't you a taxi driver? What do you think we're paying you for? Is driving all there was to it? You could do your job. I could do your job for you, loser. I mean, technically, that's all there is to a taxi driver, right? But maybe I'm just a dummy. Is there a pain in the neck? How am I going to deal with these guys? Apologize profusely. They are bullies, but I don't want any trouble. I'm sorry that I am not better at, conversate, at conversations. You should be. Your surf sucks, dude. You bet you haven't even been doing this long. You got fired from your last job, didn't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Reckon your days are numbered in this job too. You can't do anything. Really sticking the knives in. Shouldn't have tried the apology route. We're almost there. That's the plan. Time to settle the firm. <laughs> ah, looks like I'm out of change right now. Just round it down to the nearest thousand yen, William. I have change. What's wrong with you? Times like this, you're supposed to round down as part of service. I may do that for long distance fares, but not in this case. What? You're telling us we're not customers just because you only took us a few blocks? That's not what I said. If I round down the nearest thousand, I'll hardly make anything. This guy doesn't seem to think we're worthy of his attention. Well, he won't serve us. Why pay? Yeah, let's bounce out of this shithole. Hold it. What, you got a problem? You better not get too cocky, taxi driver, or do you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with us? There's an idea, let's rough him up a little. It'll be a real good stress relief. Zillar, how's your evening been so far, menacing men? Boring. Fs. You don't have anything to play, Ziller. Yeah. We we give up. We'll pay you your money. I promise we'll never look down on a driver again. Good. 
I'm in that weird mood where I am really bored, but nothing seems fun or worth doing. I know that mood very fucking well. Did you get that strong man? Who are you? Just a humble taxi driver. That used to be the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Twin turbo. Of course we do buy it, but I don't know if I want to use it. We'll use it, we'll see if it works or not. Shining yellow, we don't want that. But we do want to unlock it. Voice of the people. Sorry for the wait. Nagasugawa Street, if you would. Hi. Hey. Of course, let's go. Where is this voice of the people? Uh, oh, here, all the way at the bottom. I just can't read. Can you stop missing me now? I'm here. Are you really here, though, SQ? You going out to meet supporters sure is tiring, but does sound tough. Yes, but I'm... But it's my electorate, so what can I do? Can you do? Who did you vote for in the last election? I only moved here six months ago. I'm afraid I only moved here six months ago. Oh, yeah? So many people leaving these days. It's always good to see new blood moving in. Help you pump some new life into Fukuoka. He's, he looks pleased. Ns, ns, ns. I'm thinking about incorporating ideas for the public in my campaign. What do you think the biggest problem is today? Hmm. I do think it's harder for young people to hold on to their hopes and dreams these days. Right, that worries me as well. Too many kids out fooling around instead of working. But I do know what they're thinking and they don't seem to want to listen to adults like me. do when young people aren't even willing to hear you out. You should be listening to them. How about listening to them first? Hmm? You think I should listen to young people? You complain that they don't hear you out, but have you been giving them a voice to speak with? Now that you mention it, I don't remember talking to many young people in the past. But we're just not to say wavelength. It's like they're a whole different species. You were young. Didn't you get sick of being ignored by those who were older than you? Well, I did do my fair share of partying that never went down well with my parents. When I think about it, maybe the youth of today aren't so different for me. Alright, I'll try giving them a chance to share their opinions and hear them out. Maybe I'll be more willing to listen to me as well. I like the way you think, driver. Thanks for the tip. Happy to be of service. It's for the right. I'll give you a big tip if you promise to back me in the election. I don't take tips like that. <laughs> tips are supposed to be a gesture of appreciation. <laughs> You're straight as an arrow, aren't you? If there were more... Oh, that was quick. See, you already didn't want to answer the, that question. What question? Ho oh, ho, the courage, but I will bite. Maybe SQ is just in my head. Am I SQ? And SQ is me? Yordi, I did a lie. I am Zillar. Bark. I'm a dog. Bark, bark. Much appreciate it. <laughs> Go and take it. You've really brightened up my day. This is just a token of my gratitude. Thank you. See you next time. Guys. Do I need to call down uh, Divine Retribution on yo asses. Meow, 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 meow. From Nagasu Taxi. I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Hey, <laughs> uh, to Mesa Street, please. <laughs> he looks pretty drunk. Of course, let's go. Of 
think I had a little bit too much to drink today. <laughs> At least he's in a good mood. Say, what's your name, driver? It's Suzuki. <laughs> Suzuki-san, huh? That's funny. <laughs> Guess he's a happy drunk. <laughs> your sideburns. What about them? <laughs> They're hilarious. Just looking at the shape of them. He laughed at anything right now. <laughs> Those sideburns are classic. They really tickle my funny bone. <laughs> my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh, this is really hurting, but I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Driver, <laughs> stop me somehow. Tell a bad pun. I almost cut the sideburns off by accident once. Talk about a close shave. Uh, driver? Yes. Thank you. That gag sobered me straight <laughs> sober. <laughs> me up straight away. <laughs> well, at least he's not laughing anymore. Song called The Way of Bleeding Bark. Oh really? Wonder if he's sobered up and settled down. Mm, sniffle, he's crying. I I'm just a good for nothing waste of space at work. He's gone from laughing drunk to crying drunk. And at home, my one and only daughter hates me. She used to be my little girl, but not anymore. Just complains that I'm dirty all the time. What am I going to do? You should be alright if you bathe regularly. You should give her a good scolding. If I did that, she'd only hate me more. That might be true, but one day she'll understand that you were only doing it for her own good. You think so? Yes. You're a good father who works hard to support his family. You don't sit her down and let her know that what she's doing is wrong. You need to exert your authority as a father. My authority as a father, huh? Yeah. Better to scold her than to try... Then try to curry favor. Whoa, feeling a lot better now, thank you. It seems to have cheered him up. It's quite heavy though. Linked it in the Discord under a music channel. Where have we sobered up yet? Car sways like this, it really makes my head swing. <coughs> what comes after laughter and crying? Hey, driver? Yes, you were making fun of me just then, weren't you? You better stop that right now. And now he's looking for a fight. I wasn't making fun of you. <laughs> don't lie to me! You think I'm a corporate slave, don't you? No. You see me as a servant of my company? Just some rank and file pencil pusher, right? Perhaps you see yourself that way. It seems to me you're the one who sees yourself that way. Say what? You should carry yourself with more confidence. Yeah, shut your mouth! My company would get along just fine without me. You may be right. See, you think the same thing, but forget your company. What about your family? Huh? Without you, your family would fall apart. You're working to provide for them, right? I think that alone makes it all worth it. Driver, you're right. It doesn't matter what they say at work. I have a family to look after. I should do my job with my head held high. Seem to encourage him. He's calmer now. Here we are. Sorry about snapping at you there. I may be drunk, but that's no excuse. Here's the fare and a tip for the trouble. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I hope I'm sober next time we meet. So you can shout at me when I'm sober? You already has joined the way of cats. Never will I ever join the way of shots. I mean cats, I mean whatever. Let's do the scheduled meeting. Okay, two more to go on this. Sorry for the wait, let me in. I need you to take me to a client to fast. I'll navigate while you drive. Like right. she's in a hurry. Understood? Let's go. He goes straight. No, right. Then take the left. She's going to get us killed. Come on, move it. 
Why is she in such a rush? Is she late for a meeting or something? Hey, are you listening to me? You need to step on it. Alright. Oh, I think I missed the turn. Ah! Are you okay? Oh, well, well, I think I broke something. Hey, he looks pretty bad. Mm, something's up. I didn't feel like I hit him. Are you okay? This taxi drove into me at a very high speed. This little road? Was the driver crazy? Hold on, I admit I was going fast, but I'm sure I stopped in time. How can we be so sure of that? Let's see what your passenger has to say. Yeah, so what happened? The driver hit him, I'm certain of it. Huh? It's telling him to please slow down and drive safely, but he just kept on speeding. What? Look, normally I go straight to the police with this, but I don't want to ruin your life. If you got your license revoked, you wouldn't be able to make a living, right? We could just settle this right here if you want. That is so kind of you, given such an unusual usual circumstances. Hey man, you're lucky you hit someone willing to give you a break. How about you compensate me for 500,000 yen to cover my medical bills, and then we can pretend this never happened. Whoa! You're getting off so lightly! Come on, let's do this quickly. If you don't have the money on you, there's an ATM just around... Wait just a minute. Huh? I saw the whole thing from my window. That taxi driver never hit you. He braked in plenty of time. Who the hell is this guy? He's not with us. Some old guy just happened to be watching from the window of his home? I don't believe it. I've actually been watching all of you for a while. You were acting suspicious. Saw you hiding out along the roads. What exactly are you up to? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. You're scammers, aren't you? Damn it. The passenger, the victim, and the passerby. You were all in it. Huh, crafty bastards. Fine, you got us, but now we've got a problem. See, we can't afford to let you squeal. Looks like we better persuade you to keep your mouth shut. Please, let me handle this. Appreciate it. Come on, young lady. <laughs> they just slowly walk away. Even better, no need to hold back. Let's maul this guy! Mm. We're not close enough to the railing. I never met a taxi driver who could fight like that. I told you we should stop doing this. It's just mean to do this as a way to cover the theater costs. Guess we should stick to acting. Sorry, man. Uh, we're all just struggling actors at a little theater. We didn't have the money to pay the upkeep, so we turned to this. Change our ways and build the troop again. Really apologize for all this. Here's the fare and tip to show how sorry we are. We won't try anything stupid like this again, promise. Well, they say they're sorry. Are you going to give them a pass? Yes, and thank you for speaking up. No need for thanks. Got a lot of time on my hands these days. I'm happy to help out. If you really want to be successful actors, you better not try any more monkey business like this. Yes, sir. Old man, save the day. I'll have to keep an eye out for schemes like this. Idiot, what do you mean schemes like this? You would have figured this out way before. Are you slacking off, Kiryu son? I'm from Nagasu Taxi, sorry for the wait. Hey driver, I want to go to Gato Hot Spring. You know it? Sounds like she's from Kansai, not hey. local. Yes, I know it. Let's go. Or right, route would you like to go? I ain't from around here, Dolt. How the hell am I supposed to know the way? I'll leave it to you. Just get us there, however best. I'm gonna have myself a little nap. So the route is up to me, huh? Excuse me. What? I'm trying to sleep here. Just wanted to confirm the route with you. Nagasu Boulevard is the most direct way there. But at this time of day, it's pretty congested. I think we should take 
Chiku Zen Gawa Street instead. So, would you like to check on the map? Nah, you seem like a trustworthy type. That'll be fine. Thank you. We should be there in 15 minutes. I mean, don't know a place. It's easy to get ripped off. I'm glad you're so thorough, driver. Right, let's go. Not sleepy anymore. Got any news to share, driver? Hmm, what sort of things are you interested in? Current events, you know? That sort of things? Current events, huh? Tell a dirty joke. Talk about sports. Well, how about we talk some sports? Hmm, good choice. You like baseball? Guess if you're from Fukuoka, you'd... Actually, I lived in Tokyo for the longest. I guess you're a Tokyo Gigantes fan. I'm Osaka born and bred, which makes us arch rivals. The team will show the Gigantes how it's done next season, mark my words. It'll be a legendary showdown that seems to spark our interest. Sport was the right thing to go with Driver. There are all sorts of topics out there, but you can't just go saying whatever you like. It ain't good to discuss sensitive subjects when you're in the surface of in the service industry, and it goes double for dirty jokes. She's right, is this lady. We're almost there, ma'am. Ah, great. Mind if I pay with a 10,000 yen note? Oh, taking a lot of big notes today, so I don't think I'll have enough change. What's wrong? Very sorry, I don't think I have enough change on me. You wouldn't happen to have anything smaller? Nope. All I got is 10,000 yen notes. You could also pay by credit card. Nah, never liked the things, so I don't carry one. Surely you can make a 10,000 yen note work? Hmm. There's a convenience store over there. Go and get change. Sorry about this, but would you mind waiting while I go in the convenience store to get some change? Not at all. I'll be right here. You drink tea or coffee? I'm a coffee drinker. Why? Well, I need to buy something to get changed, so I thought I could get you a drink to make up for the inconvenience. Oh, that's very kind of you, driver. It's with my fault I ran out of change. Still, everybody makes mistakes. The important part is how you handle them. And how you handled that just now completely made up for the whole thing. I'd even say it gives a better impression. Top marks for service. Thank you. Seem to have handled that the right way. Dummy dummy! Here we are. Thank you very much. Your service skills were excellent. Hmm? Our Kansai accent is gone. I'm actually an undercover examiner. Testing the service given by taxi drivers. Undercover examiner? <laughs> you gave me an exceptional service today, Suzuki-san. I'll be sure to pass that on to Nakajima-san. This is the fare and a tip from your boss. He wanted me to give it to those who did well. Hey. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Bitch! How dare you! You're sports. Okay, so there's one more mission left, but we need to be faster. So we're gonna do all the race missions first. I'm heading out. Suzuki-san, before you go, yes? Just want to pick your brain. Know anyone looking to do some taxi driving work? Are you sure on drivers or something? Yeah, we have cabs just sitting around. You're not getting any younger and it's about time we got first blood I reckon now you wouldn't have to be the new guy anymore <laughs> really don't mind either way we need more hands on deck let me know if you think of anyone okay no particularly no one around these parts though anyway I guess I should get to work I'm from Nagasu taxi sorry for the wait oh there you are can I get a ride of course please come in I know this is out of the blue, but I wonder if you might know my son. Your son? Yes, it's been about a year since he ran away from home, and he hasn't contacted me at all. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all because I blew up at him for fooling around with his life and refusing to get a job. 
he was gone the next day. I've been looking for him ever since. I've practically searched every corner of the country by now. Why does he have to cause me so much grief? Have you got any leads on where he might be? The rumor is he's working in Hakata. Ah, so he's working at least. Yes, that was a relief to hear, but I can't just look past everything he put me through. I want to find him and give him a good whack on the head. Knock some sense into the boy. Hm, <laughs> that should do it. Now, do you know what kind of job your son was doing? I think he's working at some place called Street Racer. No idea what he does there, though. It wasn't in the phone book. He said it was Street Racer? Yes, do you know of it? The rest of the area where I race the Devil Killers always full of Street Racers. Well, you know where he is? Possibly. Great, then take me to the Street Racer place quick. Um, I don't think that's such a... Oh, I'll be fine! Seeing my son work hard to earn an honest living is sure to calm me down. I even break down and cry. I'm sure you will, but not for that reason. Now then, to Street Racer, on the double. I want to join the Devil Killers. I've always looked up to you guys. Come on, give me a shot. Forget it. You can't just be some geek off the street and expect to be a Devil Killer. But I haven't lost a race since I got here. So what, you can beat a bunch of losers that's supposed to impress me? Huh? Koji Kawa? Mom? What are you doing here? I've been looking for you all over. This nice man here brought me to see you. This SQ from the future, this message will self-destruct in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, boom. SQ, did you just blow yourself up? What the, you're the taxi driver who took us on the other day. I'm not here for you. I want to have a word with that kid. Koji, what on earth are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm a street okay. racer now. What? This is what they meant by street racer? What about your job? <sighs> Needs a job when I can rule the road. This absolute rubbish. You're coming back home with me right now, young man. No way. I'm joining the devil killers. What do you want to go killing devils for? Street racing team, mom. Street racing team? You want to race cars? This isn't like one of those motorcycle gangs, is it? Well, not exactly, but yeah, something like that. Over my dead body? I won't have you going around causing trouble for people. You'll find yourself a job, mister. I did look for a job and I found nothing. Turns out the only thing I'm good at is driving. What kind of company would hire somebody like that? I can think of one. Come on, Wat uh, Watanabe-san. Driving is in my blood. Let me join your squad, man. You're annoying little shit. But you know what? Why don't you race that taxi yeah. driver there? Huh? Why? If you beat him in a race, I'll let you join our crew. Simple as that. <laughs> yeah? Haha, <laughs> too easy. I don't think so, Buster. I told you I won't let you cause trouble for anyone. Let's just go home, look for a real job, okay? Mom, this is none of your bloody business. Let's get this show on the road, taxi man. I think so. That would only encourage you. Aw, come on, man. All you have to do is drive. It'll be over in 10 seconds. You said to yourself that driving is all you're good at, right? Yeah, so what? I was just thinking, if driving is your thing, you could come work for our company. Really give him a job? Of course, we're actually looking for new drivers right now. If your son is interested, absolutely. Let's sign him up right away. Mom, this isn't your call to make. I don't want to drive some dumb taxi. Why not? You like to drive, don't you? But driving around in a taxi is nothing like racing a car. Who wants to become a dweeb in a slow lane, following the rules like a tool? I want to be a badass speed demon who zooms around corners like a boomerang, burning rubber the whole way. Won't settle for anything less. How could you say such a thing? Say. What would you do if you knew a taxi driver who could pull stunts like that as well? I'd say no taxi driver in the world can do that, what the killers do. Now hurry up and race me. Watch me win this Watabe-san. Yeah, yeah. Gee, you be sure to watch out for pedestrians, you hear? And look both ways at intersections. This is a highway, mom! Come on! Mom! <laughs> Undutiful son. Do 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 do
I don't even know what the point of taunting is. That's fun. Nanja. Mother knows best. So, what do you think of us taxi drivers now? Guess I was wrong. You are something else, man. <laughs> Just say I thought. I'm out of here. Have you finally got this racing thing out of your system? Let's go home together. I'll make you a big batch of your favorites too. I have to go now, but don't go running out on your mother again, got that? Wait, please. Hmm? About that taxi job you mentioned, is the offer still up for grabs? Sure. Then you'll hire me? I'm serious here. I'm finally starting to understand why being a taxi driver might be cool, so will you let me work with you? You expect that after all... After the way you treated him, you think you can just waltz your way into a job world without even an apology? Okay, I'm sorry for being such a pain. I mean it. There's nothing I want more than to be a driver at your co for your company. I promise to work real hard. Well, I don't really see why not, really. Sure, I did make him an offer. After all, he looks eager to give this a shot. You sure it's not too much trouble, even after what he did? Well, he won't get far acting like that, true. But in the world I come from, you don't just cut a guy loose once he sees he's seeing the error of his ways. Better to let him make amends. That's very generous. I'll look after your son, ma'am. Now, let's get going. You can call me Suzuki from here on out, your taxi driver. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I'll make sure you don't regret hiring me. Koji, my son, I'm so happy I could... Oh, here comes the waterworks. Mom knows best. Yeah. I'm back. Hey there, who's the youngster? I'm Kiyokawa, and I'd like to be your new driver. Oh ho, you're willing to work for us here. You know we're a taxi company, right? Yep, truth is, I was dead set on being a devil killer, but now I see that being a taxi driver is just badass. Do whatever it takes to be one. Devil killers, huh? Kiyokawa used to be street racer, but let's just say he hit a few speed bumps. I see. Well, better to end up here than with those punks, trust me. That ain't the road you want to follow. You tell him, chief. You've got your whole life ahead of you, Kiyokawa. How about you show him the ropes, Mura Matsu? Wait. Sure thing. I was kind of hoping to train under Suzuki-san. Hmm? This guy right here. He knows how to be a real man. Real man, eh? What exactly is... Exactly, is that supposed to mean? I'm saying I want to learn everything Suzuki-san knows. He's like a role model type of dude. Hmm. If you're that adamant about it, then Suzuki-san, be sure to look after Kiyokawa here. Hey. I will. Congratulations on moving up the ranks. Thanks. Do I work on first, Suzuki-san? Your manners. When you answer, you say, yes sir. Got that? Heck yeah, I do. Were you even listening? Oh, for sure. Do you understand me, though? Yep, loud and clear. Gotta work on those manners, right? This is going to take a while. <laughs> uh, fucking fantastic. 
Yep, loud and clear, Chief. Uh-huh. Definitely. <laughs> uh, oh, Suzuki san. Can I actually have dialogue with this guy? Yeah. Anything... <laughs> Quest-wise? I want to ask you what sort of music you listen to when racing. Something high-tempo, like Eurobeat tracks? I'm not sure what you call it, so why you ask. Well, I just thought listening to some good tunes might help you get in the right state of mind when racing. Let me give you one of my favorite CDs to listen to. Get to the top. Okay. You can also buy CDs from mobile shop from a mobile shop, so try buying a few on your phone. Oh, that's the wrong one. CD World. Machine Gun Kiss, Let's Go Away, Remember, Magical Sound Shower. Get to the top! Don't stop! First of the four kings. What do you have for me? Oh, right. Someone had a complaint about you, Suki-san. He was yelling over the phone and he sounded really threatening. Any idea who that might be? Guess as good as mine. Or should I go to make the apology? Hang on a second. Here we go. Wouldn't you know it? He said he's at the highway rest area. Rest area. Another challenge from the devil killers, maybe. Come think of it, you've been for pickup at that rest area before. Maybe it's the same person. Then he must be a regular. I'll go clear things up. Hey guys. Hello there, Kiyokawa kun. Good timing. Suzuki san is heading out to deal with a complaint. You should go along too. You might learn something. Alright, let's go, Suzuki san. Uh, I'd rather handle this on my own. I don't see the harm in bringing him along. He needs to learn how to apologize properly for someone. Might as well be you. You said it, Yudakawa san. Let's hit the road. Great. <laughs> ah, my old stomping grounds. Alas, the life of a street racer has already passed me by. That wasn't all that long ago. <laughs> Still fed good to say. Now where's this complainer? Never should have brought this guy along to a race with the devil killers. So you're Suzuki from Naga Sutoxi, huh? And you are? Dude, you're freaking Kajiwara! You know him or something? Of course I do. He's top racer in the Devil Killers, one of the four kings. He drives like a maniac and he's total he has totaled more cars than you can count. Worst of all, most cars he goes up against end up on the scrap heap. He's total menace. He's just as crazy when he's not behind the wheels too. He loves to pick fights. And he puts tons of people in the hospital. You know what people call him? Crash Kajiwara! Can you believe it? At least he has a good profile on some of these guys. Might come in handy. What is Crash Kajiwara doing here? Unless... Are you the one who called with the complaint? A complaint from one of the four kings? What the hell did you do, Suzuki-san? Two of my devil killers are in the hospital right now. They're messed up real bad. Got something you want to say? Don't know what you're getting at. I did raise some of your men, but none of them ended up injured. You sure you've got the right person? Oh, I'm damn sure, asshole. Some punk-ass taxi driver takes on the devil killers in a race and wins? No fucking way I'm standing for that. You beat two of, devil, of the devil killers? As soon as I got the news, I lost. I lost it, stomped them both into the floor. Shit was crazy. You put your own man in the hospital. <laughs> this asshole. Yeah, and it was a crying shame. Two young guys with their whole lives ahead of them now shattered to pieces, and it's all your goddamn fault. 
So now, you gotta deal with the first of the four kings, and I'm out for personal vengeance. Some wrapped logic you have. Well, what are you waiting for? Climb into the taxi of yours, or should I say your coffin? Fine, I'll show you what this coffin can do. Don't do it, Suzuki-san. Didn't you hear what I said? I know you're fast, but going up against Crash Kajivara is suicide. If you don't watch out, you'll lose more than a race. He could literally kill you. You know, you still haven't learned proper manners. Focus on doing your job, all right? Gah, don't you get it? Are you risking your life like this? Because I made a promise. A promise? That's right. A promise to take down the devil killers. And what's good is a man sword if he doesn't back it up. That's another life lesson for me. Pretty much. Besides, there's no way I'm backing down. <laughs> oh, well, la di da Like your style, man. Sucks that I'm gonna have to kill you, though. Maybe break a few bones at the very least. Wait for me at the finish line. I'll make this through this. I'll make it through this. I'll make it through this. English hard. Brutal devil killer. ピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピピ
Oh, the Devil Killer's top men would have a little more decency than that. You'll have to forgive him, Suzuki-san. This is just how he gets. Yeah, <laughs> you'll say what you want. Now put him up. I'm about to come crashing down on you. Feel free to try me, um, Crash Kajibara. Well, as long as it worked. Fuck me, I lost race. Now I lost a brawl too. That's a first. Still got some fight in you? Nope, nope. I'm good. No more, please. <laughs> Creighton, you label yourself among the four kings. Utterly pathetic. Sorry you had to waste time on this imbecile, Suzuki san. Clearly, you picked the wrong opponent. I see someone with some sense around here. Yes, but unfortunately, I'm not here to chat. The only thing I want to hear from you is the sound of your engine when we race. <laughs> and here I was thinking you were a level-headed guy. I guess you're just not a Redril and junkie. Perhaps so. I must say the prospect of speeding down the highway neck and neck does rather excite me. You should know, Crash Kajiwara is the weakest link in the Four Kings. Don't expect your next race to go so smoothly. So you're really gonna take on cool Yoshimi? Looks that way. I don't get it, Suzuki-san. You drive like the wind. You're as tough as nails in a fight. Who exactly are you? Just a humble taxi driver. Anyway, now you know how to handle complaints. Let's head back to the office. Yes, sir. Finally learning some manners, I see. Good on you. You know it. I'm so polite. I put the man in manners. Ain't no one more respectful than this bad boy. And he lost it. Back. Oh, hello there. How did it go? Did you sort things out with that angry customer? I say it worked. I worked things out, though. I practically, <clears throat> I practically begged for forgiveness. He must have been really upset, huh? Now you've seen the hard part of the job, Kyokawa. I'll say. Suzuki-san looks amazing out there. He, what? I thought you went to apologize. <laughs> Nani? Racing blood. Oh. I just came in now. The client who always calls from the highway rest area. Hey. The devil killer. Then hey. I'll be heading out. Wonderful. Have a safe drive. Hey, Suzuki-san, you haven't seen Muda Matsukun around, have you? No, I'm afraid not. Mighty aunt. What is it? We had a request to come in specifically for him, but somehow he's up and gone. Seen a hide nor hair. It doesn't sound like Muramatsu-san, I know. Ain't that the truth? He usually such a stickle about everything. If it turns out he can't show up, can you send someone else in his place? Apparently his client only wants rides from him. They say if he's not there, they'll never call us again. Car's all washed, and boy, does that baby sparkle. Ah, Kyokawa-kun. You seen Muramatsu-kun around? Hmm. We were talking not too long ago, but I haven't seen him since. Why? Guess he slipped away. How about I go look for him? Yeah, I'll help too. Appreciate that, but you two got your own work to do. No point in wasting everyone's time. You'll go get back to what you were doing. I'll handle this myself. Okie dokie. You said you spoke with Muramatsu's son earlier. What was it about? I was just telling him how you kicked Crash Kajiwara to the curb. I told you not to go running your mouth about that. Oh, come on. What's the harm? At this rate, you'll take down the Four Kings in no time. And once you beat the Devil King's Elite, you'll be the fastest guy of Fukuoka. That's pretty much all I said. I don't care about any of that. This isn't about fame or cheap thrills. Yeah, I know. I guess I got a little carried away. Besides, no one expects a taxi driver to climb to the top of the leaderboard anyway. What did Marumutsa Matsu have to say about it? He uh, mentioned something about how it's stupid and pointless to be racing on the streets, I think. Actually, I don't remember. Kind of got selective hearing, you know. 
Oh, speaking of racing, when's your next one? I can't wait to see you out there. Never mind that. You need to focus on your job. <laughs> Three out of the four kings to go. Hope I can put this racing business to rest before long. Suzuki-san? Murimatsu-san, what are you doing here? The chief's been looking all over for you. Is that so? What's your excuse for being here? You're here to raise the devil killers, nothing more. Uh-huh. I hear you're doing pretty well against them. You could say I'm making progress. You can't just wait to be glorified as Fukuoka's fastest, can you? I don't know what you heard from Kiyokawa, but that's not what I'm in for it. But that's beside the point, Muramatsu-san. There's an important client waiting to be picked up, and you'll still have to time to make it if you leave now. And we better get this race over quickly. We? That's what I said. Today is gonna be just you and me. I made that call. Why? See, I know all about how you guys think. I trained to be a racer myself, a real one, Formula 1 to be precise. And I must say, I wasn't half bad. Made it through the amateur leagues just fine. If things had gone my way, I could have been a pro by now. What happened? Do you know how much it costs to turn pro in a racing world? You need a machine, circuit feeds, campaign money, testing. I was scrapping together every last yen I could, but my family is poor and my part-time job only paid a pittance. In the end, I couldn't keep cash chasing the dream. I didn't have the money. What does any of this have to do with me? I despise people like you. People who go speeding down the highway like it's nothing. Like people's lives aren't at risk. Those who really aim for speed do it on proper track, following the proper regulations. Racing side by side with ordinary people just trying to get around safe. Lee is a slap in the face to society, don't you think? I agree. The only reason I'm going up against the devil killers is to get them off the road. Don't believe you for a minute. I can tell you're enjoying it, reveling in it even. You're wrong. My point is, the fact that you compete on public roads really great set my nerves. For those of us who grew up on the track, beating street racers like you is easy as pie. You'll see. Still don't see any reason for us to race. Now come on, we've got our jobs to do. Okay then, how about this? Race me and I'll go straight to work if you win. I won't prove anything. And look at us. We're taxi drivers, arguing over whether or not we should be speeding down the highway. Come on, we're going back. Not until you accept my challenge. Looks like... Looks like he's not going to budge. Fine, if you want it that badly, I'll give you a race. Finally, he gets the picture. Time to teach you the difference between an amateur and a pro. I wonder. Taxi racer. This car is actually decently fast. That is a pain. <laughs> Gotta get a car upgrade soon again. Gun gun to us. Gun gun to us. Tanoshimase de Kurizan, I just got she driver and amateur to Kegas to the Hashiri of Huzega, Kuka, Saisoko, Nanuru. Did he just actually bash into me, the asshole? Can do 
the speed boost again. Don't have to worry about that. Got a speed boost here, and I'll use the last speed boost on the. The goal hit. Two levels. Nice. We like to hear that. All the training on the circuits, all that time and dedication only to lose to a street racer. I'll say it one more time, Miramatsu san. I'm not a street racer and I never intend to be. <laughs> yeah, I know. Deep down, I think I just want an excuse to race you. That's all. I was jealous, okay? When was making a fuss about you beating the devil killers and being the best in town. And yet I thought in my heart I was the faster man. It bugged me to no end. But now I know the truth. You beat me fair and square, Suzuki-san. You cut me down to size, but I'm honestly glad you did. I'll be rooting for you from now on. You sure? Mm-hmm. wasn't lying when I said I hate street racers. You showed those devil killers whose boss <laughs> okay? I will. Strange, though. How many talented drivers end up being drawn to our company? I guess that's all the Chief's doing. What mm -hmm. do you mean? What? You didn't know? He used to be a street racer himself. You're not serious, are you? Well... All I've heard are rumors. This must have been over two decades ago, and I don't know the details. Hard to believe, but... Despite my loathing for reckless street racing jerks, I have nothing but respect for a boss. He's one of the few who made it out of the game to start an honest living. Anyway, I know I went off without saying anything, so I think it's best we head back. I don't want to keep the chief waiting any longer right. than I have. Hmm, <laughs> already... I'm back. Guess what, Suzuki-san? I just got a call from Mario Tsukun. It sounds like he picked up the regular clients on his time. Yeah. Did he know? Yep, says he was taking a break in his cab and dozed off. We've been busy lately, so I ain't surprised. Now, if you must doze off, Suzuki-san, make sure it ain't when you're behind the wheel. Not that I expect you would. I'll be sure not to. Good. Won't any accidents now, that's for sure. Hey, Chief? Actually, mm -hmm. never mind. Hmm? Alrighty then. How are you holding up, Hirokawa, uh, son? It'd be better if my shoulders weren't so stiff. <laughs> yeah, me too. Shoulders, neck, back, you name it. That's what happens when you get old. This guy used to be a straight racer. Ooh, level up. You already likes that! Well, at least we can improve the car. Nice. Tuning up. Tires, semi racing. Holy shit, that improves the car a lot. Handling surface, however. Yeah, let's just stick to the B type. Forest, just unlock it. I'm not using it because I want to keep on orange. There's that client calling from the higher arrest again. He's asking for you, Suki san. Must be the devil killers. Might I add? He's very polite, too. Sounds like Kuyo Yoshimi. One of the four kings, then I'll make sure to leave a strong impression. Hey, wait! Eh? You're not getting away today. <sighs> Forget it, I'm not gonna study any more of these meaningless words and symbols and I'm gonna lose my marbles. What's going on? The chief asked us to help Kiyokawa study in his driver's test. Yeah, and he ain't exactly the bookworm type. Furthest thing from it, actually. Come on, what does memorizing a bunch of random rules have to do with driving a car? I mean, I already know how to drive, so just let me loose on the road. It's not like I'm going to smash into anyone. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good you are at driving. To be a taxi driver, you need a Class 2 license. That requires a certain amount of yeah. studying. Uh, you say that, but I still don't want to believe it. Better start showing some effort, or you'll be stuck on writing tests forever. 
Yeah, and might I remind you, this is taking up our time too. I'm using my brakes to teach you, so hurry up and get through your head. I can't! I've never been good at uh, book work. Even if I studied night and day, I still wouldn't pass. Ah, I hate it. Just let me get behind the wheel with my foot on the pedal already. Don't forget your seatbelt first. Ah, that's it. I'm done with this. Whoa! I made a run for it. Jeez. They're way too easy on kids these days. In school these days. I'll end up like him. Sorry. He's been such a pain to both of you. Yeah. No need to apologize, Suki-kun. It's not your fault. Well, I'm the one who got him hired. Can at least go to bring him back. Luck with that. Who knows where he's gone now. I have a pretty good idea. Just sit tight for a bit. Suzuki-san, what are you doing here? Did you come looking for me? Well, don't try and drag me back with you. I've had to sit with studying. Knucklehead like me probably is only has one in a hundred chance of passing. I don't want to fight the losing battle. No, I have other huh? business here. You mean another race with the devil killers? Right. You're up against Cool Yoshimi this time, right? I know you don't want to hear this, but I think you should just bow out, <sighs> to be honest. On your side, of course, but I know he's what he's capable of. You don't stand a chance, man. Not with that attitude, anyway. Crash Kajiwara guy you beat. He's the bottom of the ladder. When it comes to the Four Kings, Cool Yoshimi's a whole nother level. Psst. SQ. Psst. He's that fast, huh? Yep. Yoshimi wins all his races because he's sharp as attack and never loses his cool. When you go up against him, you can bet that he already knows you're right down to every last nut and bolt. That's... he's that thorough. He works up a profile of you and compares it with all the data he's gathered to figure out the best way to win. Kiyokara sure knows a lot. He should devote a little of that brain power to studying. Anyways, I think you gotta cut your loose loss here. I don't want to see you go down in the flames. It's just like my studying. Be stupid to take on something you just can't win. Good to see you, Suzuki-san. SQ, didn't we talk about this? Whoa, it's cool Yoshimi. You're like studying up on your opponents. That's right, this time was tougher than usual. It's my first race against a taxi. For one, I didn't have much data to go on at first. So I went all the way back to 1912 and when the first taxi service in Japan started and researched every last detail since then. I already analyzed your car, of course. I have full details on every part as well as your driving habits right in my head. We did? Yes. That's dedication right there. So what are my chances? Based on today's weather and the state of the road, I came up with a number. Fortunately, you only have about 1 in 100 chance of beating me. 100. That's nothing. You still wish to take me on, taxi driver, of course. Suzuki-san, let's quit while we're ahead. 1 in 100 is terrible odds. You can't win. The odds may be against me, but I still stand the chance, right? Where I grew up, you don't just run away when things look hopeless. You step up to the challenge like a man and carve out your own destiny. Damn, that hit me really heavy just now. <laughs> what a character you are. I love it. Now, I'm truly looking forward to seeing you hang your head in the defeat. Let's see if you can put up a fight. SQ, you forget everything. That is nothing new. Here's a nice white car. I want that car.
<笑>バカなやつだ。デビルキラーってのはその程度か。バカなやつだ。よそ。よそ。生かしてもらうぜ。計算が間違って。think there'd be a secret move there, but I like it. Remembering things and stopping uh, instead of forgetting things. You already look, it's snack time. No, SQ doesn't get any snacks because SQ can't remember things. SQ is a bad girl. Because of that, I'm gonna sit here and eat snacks. Well, you can't get any. Hundred to one shot and he pulled off with style. This is unreal. All the data showed I'd win without a hitch. What went wrong? Battles aren't won by data and statistics. The numbers must be must have clouded your mind. Ridiculous. Sorry, Suzuki san, I should have never doubt you. You see now your fate isn't written in stone. You can change it if you try hard enough. I think it's time you change your snow. Okay, I'll do that. Kawakun. Guys, is the offer to help me study still on the table? Where's this coming from all of a sudden? Yeah, I thought you said it was hopeless. What are you talking about? If you give up when things look grim, you'll never get anywhere in life. Now let's get started with some flashcards. Don't know what you did, Suzuki-san, but it worked. Mm -hmm. Didn't do anything. Alright, alright, I'll help you. Aren't you forgetting something first? 
probably be apologizing for my behavior from before, huh? You got it. Finally acting his age. Let's hope so. Remember to be sincere about it. Of course, I'd like to start and end by Sousa saying star. sorry for ruffling mm -hmm. your feathers. Hm. Kind of apologies Sousa that. Star. My bad. Sorry for rubbing you the Sousa wrong way. Uh, for wrecking your expectations. For rustling your jimmies. <laughs> okay, you can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Curious face, man. Veterans approach. It's that client from the high west highway rest area. So the devil killers are back for more, huh? Then I'm all away. Mm -hmm. Mind if I tag along? That way you can teach me how to deal with more clients. He obviously knows where I'm going. Studying for your class hey. too. Well, both Wada and Miramatsu seem pretty sure I can pass now. They gave me their okay. Did they really? Yeah, I even aced the practice test. I'm studying my butt off. Help me out, Hirokawa-san. <laughs> I'd say you've been making an admirable effort. Why don't I take him with you, Suzuki-san? He does need more time in the field. <laughs> Not sure he benefits from this kind of request. I don't say that even if it doesn't seem relevant, I still want to know how it's done. You're certainly enthusiastic. If that not dedication, I don't know what is. Wouldn't you say so? I guess so. <laughs> cool. There are only two of the four kings left to go. You can do this. At least he's not trying to dissuade me like before. You be Crash Kajiwa first, then Cool Yoshimi. That means today you'll be facing. Hey guys, cheerful voice. Who's this? Which one of you big boys is Mr. Suzuki from Nagasutaxi? There he is, the second in command of the Four Kings, Gentle Nakamura. My used to be favorite chocolate bars are too sweet for me. Damn, Mountain Dew? So, what's so gentle about him? Beats me. But he's a true veteran. One of the old, oldest on the team. He's the last original Devil Killer, too. Been with him from the start. And don't let his age fool you. He's fast as lightning and then some. Not to mention, he racks up tons of wisdom and experience behind the wheel. You're pretty clued up for a young sir. Not bad, Miss Suki. Actually, Miss Suki is this guy right here. Ah, you're the man. You sure you're in the right place? Truth be told, I thought you'd be a little less on in years. That makes two of us. Oh, don't mistake me for one of those doddering old seniors you see puttering around. When it comes to driving, experience trumps all else. I've refined my skills over decades, maturing them like fine wine. Now, I hear you've already bested two of the four kings, is that correct? That is. Well, from here, from where I'm standing, those guys might as well be fresh out of driving school. Just because you know how to hold the wheel and step on the gas doesn't mean you know how to race. Watch and learn, Mr. Suzuki. Because today's lesson is how you how to lose sight of a veteran. Okay. Mr. Suzuki. Come on, Suzuki. Come on, Suzuki. Oh.
What the hell is this? Dauntless driving? Suzuki. You did it, Suzuki san. Nearly all four four kings. Nearly all four kings. There's only one left, their leader. How could this be? I've been racing for decades. Doggone it. Though I suppose this turn of events isn't entirely uncalled for. Let's say Nakajima found himself a diamond in the rough. Just say Nakajima. But you know our boss. How? Why, he is the original devil killer. The man started this whole gang over 20 years ago. Huh? What? Wait, you're telling me the chief started the devil killers? You gotta be joking. He's just an old geezer, no offense. You we were a lot younger 20 years ago. Your boss was a real speed demon back then, the fastest in Fukuoka. Maybe even all of Kyushu. That's just, nah, my brain can't handle this. Then tell me why a legendary god of street racing would quit just to start driving taxis around. Your guess is good mine, young man. Weren't you an original member of his team? Surely you must know something. Then I was just a slowpoke. Never really got to talk to the man. Though I'm glad I stuck with it. It made I made it to the Four Kings, after all. It took me long enough. And now I go lose to a taxi driver. Perhaps my age has finally caught up with me. Some racer I am, eh? 
Also, nope, I'm back. Hey there, heard you were showing Kiyokawa-kun the robes today, huh? No, today I was up against the devil killers, huh? That thing you were doing for the local police. Don't get too into any accidents here. Chief, I need to ask you something. Hmm? Is it true you were the one who formed the Devil Killers? Where'd you hear that? From Gentle Nakamura, the guy I just raised. Looks like the cat's out of the bag. I was thinking to have a sit down with you one of these days, as won't be now. Something must have changed this year. Yeah, a lot has changed this year, but it has nothing to do with food. When you're young, you have to time to do whatever your heart desires. For me, that was cars. I loved them more than anything. Well, just about. Before I knew it, there were a whole bunch of us motorheads to the core, so I decided to form the Devil Killers. We'd race day and night, trying to shave seconds off our best time. We all knew the dangers of racing on the highway, but we were... But we were careful. We tracked down the best spots, found out when there was the least traffic. We even posted lookouts with walkie-talkies. We were so close knit, we were such a close knit bunch. It wasn't long before we gained a reputation as the fast boys in town. My devil killer days, that was the prime of my life. Can you imagine? This old gnarled stump of a tree once had leaves up top. <laughs> Anyhow, as with anything, time was never on our side. With each passing generation, the glue that held the crew together seemed to be dissolving, and now look at him. They drive like reckless maniacs, no regards for safety whatsoever. Then they brought gambling on board. When it comes down to it, there ain't hardly nothing left of the vision I once had. Only greed and nail game yeah. remain. People shouldn't have to suffer because of it. Racing was about the thrill, not not this. Listen up, suzuki san There's something I want to ask you. I want you to break up the devil killers. Can you do that for me? That's your phone. Better see who it is. Sorry, one moment. What is with that weird uh, blur? Hello? What's up, Suzuki-san? Who's this? The last of the four kings. Technically the fifth to lead the devil killers. Long story short. I'm Devil Takamura. How did you get my this number? Ha. Wouldn't you like to know? What is it you want? Hmm. You see, you've been preying on my teammates lately. Thanks to a taxi driver of all people, they've been on a losing streak. Be bad if words got around, so someone's gotta nip that in the butt. I don't see why. Let's... Do people know the truth? Yeah, I don't think so. Our livelihood depends on our rep. Take that away, and you take away our business, get me? That's what you get for basing your business on extortion. Say what you like. Either way, we need to get back our good name. I'm thinking on like a major skill, so let's hold a race with spectators and all. Okay. How about it? Meet me again. Me against you, or are you afraid to get your ass handed to you? No, I refuse to be part of a circus act. You should wait to hear my offer. I'm assuming Nakajima, wimp that he is, is you to dismantle the devil killers. Am I right? Thought so. What are you saying? You'll disband devil killers if I beat you in a race? That's exactly what I'm saying. However, rules the road. Whoever rules the road makes the rules. In other words, the fastest guy calls the shots. That's always been our way. Fine, you'll get your race. And just so you know, I don't take kindly to people who go back on their word. Of course, wouldn't expect you to. But just so you know, there's a reason I'm in charge of the devil killers. You better be prepared, old man. What if, when I grow up, I am not a sugar cookie monster? The sugar is probably gonna get you killed, SQ, so this Devil Takamura says he'll break up the team okay. if you win. Get right, Wada-chan. You bet, huh? leader. Wada-san, don't mean you were a devil killer too? Yep. As were some of the older drivers. Yeah. 
Yeah, I figured by this point that I shouldn't have said that. Quick as they come, don't get out there without a plan. Really straight raising and the double kings. Killers. They meant everything to you, didn't they? Well, <clears throat> I think you ought to leave there, Suzuki san. I'm sure you have some things in your life you'd rather keep close to your chest, no? I'm sorry, that was yeah. rude of me. Nah, you were just curious. I should be the one apologizing. Okay, everyone, why don't we just drive safely, give it our best, and leave the heavy stuff behind, huh? SQ, you sure got your priorities straight. The final battle. It's that client you always pick up on the highway. He said something about the stage being set. Does that mean anything to you? It means I need to beat Devil Tak Takamura and put an end to his team once and for all. Hey, Hiko. Nothing important. I'll be going now. All right, drive safe. Who are you betting on today, Devil Takamura, <laughs> duh? Yeah, I heard rumors about the taxi drive being good, but no way he didn't hell he's beating Takamura. No, honestly, I kind of want him to win. The cabbie, I mean. The Zephyr Killers have been out of control for way too long. They're a pain in the ass to everyone, races included. Shh, there he is. So, you're Suzuki, I presume? Yeah, and you're Devil Takamura, I take. The one and only. Alright then. Just so we're clear, you'll disband the group if I win. Whoa, hey, relax. We still have time in the limelight. Gotta appreciate that, you know? I mean, look around. Street racers from all over Japan are hanging uh, in our every movement. E they're even streaming us online. Bet it's not often a taxi driver like you gets his 50 minutes of fame, huh? I bet there are a lot of money riding on this, am I right? Hmm. <laughs> so what if there is? Don't you have any respect for your founder? <laughs> You're talking about that Nakajima guy? Who cares about that old has-been? He's all washed up now. I mean, working to save money to fix up your car, racing solely to improve your time? Sounds like shit my grandpa'd say. As you can see, I ain't new to this game because of my genius. The straight racing shit's in is our cash cow. Guess it doesn't hurt to have the Devil Killer's image, though. The SQ is dying because of too much sugar. And people respect that image because of how hard the founders work to build it. And this is how you play them? Fuck yeah, dude. As long as the devil killers keep raking in the money, what's the problem? You really need to keep up with the times, man. <laughs> this guy doesn't know a thing. But for real, don't worry. Everyone knows devil killers are still going most badass team from way back when. That part ain't gonna change. Well, at least until I've milked the Devil Killer's image for all it's worth. Then, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll start something new. Sky's the limit, you know? And hey, these shitheads should have... be honored an entrepreneur like me is doing them all a favor. <laughs> I won't let you throw those dreams away. Oh, and what's a cabbie gonna do? You think he got to where I am just by talking big? Let me tell you, buddy, point blank, I earned my spot as fifth leader of the Devil Killers by being the fastest fucking driver, period. Now let's get this show on the road. Gotta give the audience what they came for, right? Uh, oops, I forgot, SQ.
思い知らせてやるぜ全開止められるもんなら止めてみろ。タクドラはタクドラだなおいやるな Star Trek! I'm not a fan of Star Trek. Then again, I'm also not really a fan of Star Wars anymore. Shit. That almost went completely wrong. I know Star Trek and Star Wars are two different things. Like I've, I'm the person that watched more Star Wars than Star Trek. My parents did watch a lot of Star Trek, though. They watched both. No way. The taxi driver actually, he actually did it. The absolute madman. He beats Devil Takamura. What could possibly happen next? Oh fuck! Well, uh, I guess congratulations are in order. I don't need your fanfare. What I want is your crew to break up. That was your end of the bargain. Okay, everybody, listen up. You can't be serious. Certainly, you don't need to keep such a silly promise. Yeah, ain't no reason to break up now. Break up? Whatever gave you that idea? Excuse me? With all these people watching, this is the perfect chance to show what happens when you get on the Devil Killer's bad side. Give this bastard the trashing. Yeah, with pleasure. Gonna get some payback. I'm not. I'm generally not one to resort to violence, unless duty calls. Sorry, Miss Suzuki. I'm afraid you'll have to take your medicine like a man. That isn't what we agreed on. What happens to the fast guy calling the shots? Hmm. Oh, that. See, there's been an update. It's the strongest guy who calls the shots now. Maybe you missed the memo. Well, what are we waiting for? Time to let the world know what happens when you mess with the devil killers. Let me say, it ain't pretty. SQ.
Baka. I shaved today, no more beards. Good job, Pico. Beards are dumb anyways. What do you call a dum dum who chews? properly. still quite thin so yeah just need to grow it out more yo we're getting our ass out of here you'll get yours soon enough man I'll make sure of it hold up what a pitiful sight never thought the legendary devil killers could sink so low you ought to be ashamed hey isn't that who seriously you don't know that guy is like the biggest name in racing here in Fukuoka no way. Onisaka-san? Who's this character all of a sudden? Shoot, I, I didn't know you were going to be here. You start acting up on this skill, word's going to reach me. Uh, well, you see, this is all the taxi driver fault. He picked a fight with us, so we uh, don't even bother. I've done my own research. I heard you were throwing your weight around. And I only gave you a pass because you had clouds with the community. But now that's all in ancient history. Yeah? What's your point? My point, do I really need to restate how bad this taxi driver beat you to a pulp? He's the top dog now, so abide by our rules. I'm ordering you to break up the devil killers. But that would mean devil killers are pretty much done for at this point. What with Onisaka-san giving the order. One man really that kind of pull? Of course he does. He's pretty much the law in racing circles. Your team is hereby disbanded. Never to use the killer's name again. Any objections? No. Get your ass off the road. Not overnight. But it does grow big enough that I get annoyed by it. You heard the man. So you are Suzuki, huh? I'm Onisaka. I look after the young'uns around here. Thanks for intervening. No need to thank me. You're the one who beat Takamura. That's all I needed to see. But without you, they wouldn't have honored your agreement, so I appreciate you showing up. Slow down there, pal. You don't think I came all this way just to help you get rid of a few punks, do you? Why then? Well, you work for Nakijima, right? Yeah, I do. Then I assume he wanted you to race Devil Killers in submission, huh? Break them that way. Ultimately, yes. Mm. Yeah, that ain't gonna fly with me. Why not? Because he's a coward. People who chicken out of a challenge have no say in ra racing matters. What do you mean by that? 20 years ago, the two of us were rivals. Nakajima, the undisputed champion, and me, the runner-up. No matter how many times I raced him, he always won out, of, out in the end. I lost to him countless times. And one day I decided enough was enough. I took a year off to travel the country taking on as many ra other racers as I could. Before I left, I made Nakajima swear not to lose to anyone. 
That way, I'd still be taking on Fuoka's best when I got back. When I returned, I found out he vanished from the streets. Gone, just like that. Promises be damned. It demoralized me, Suzuki-san. An entire year completely down the drain with no explanation whatsoever. All the time with nobody to race. What a fucking way to leave an old friend behind. I'm sure Nakajima-san had his reasons. He's not the kind of guy to break his word. You think I don't know that? I know he must have some kind of situation. But that deal still doesn't keep me from wanting to that race. He owes me. I'll never forget that thrill I got going up against him. I can't. So I won't give him give up on street racing until I get another taste of it. My pride won't let me. Go back and tell the boss of yours I've been waiting. That whenever he feels like honoring his promise, I'll be behind the wheels. Same place I've been for 20 years. SQ grinding in FF7 CC is getting boring. I already knew this. That's why I ended up not grinding further so that we could beat the super boss on hard mode. Chief, I know you're not the kind of guy who goes back on his word. What happened all those years ago? It was 20 years ago, about a month after Onisaka left, I got into an accident. An accident? I wasn't driving dangerously or anything. We were just coming home from shopping. I was under a speed limit, no distractions. But I couldn't say the same for the other car. A street racer smashed into us. He came around the corner at high speed and lost control. He was completely at fault. Did you get hurt? No, I came away with just scratches, but my wife sitting beside me wasn't as lucky. She hit her head, I guess. There weren't many external injuries, but she fell into a coma. I really should have been angry with the guy who did that to my wife, but I couldn't summon him up any rage. He was a street racer, just like me. That's when I realized it could just as easily have been me causing a crash like that. Just one little mistake could end up costing some innocent person their life. When I got to think, Kin, I just couldn't go back to putting the pedal to the metal like I used to. I was too scared. So you quit street racing at that point, yeah. Now of course I remember what I promised Onisaka, but I knew I couldn't keep it. Who could, after what happened? After the accident, my wife never regained consciousness again. She was alive, but never woke up. Strange, ain't it? I lived life on the edge, but I was still standing. My wife never took a risk in her life and ended up like that. I just couldn't accept it. I whispered her name into her ear over and over, day in, day out thinking one day maybe she opened her eyes and sit up like nothing ever happened. But that ain't how life works. No matter how much I loved her, or prayed for her to come back, she wouldn't wake up. We're all pretty powerless when it comes down to it. All I could do was keep hoping she'd recover and work to pay her hospital bills, but even that was beyond me. See, I used to be a day laborer, but I poured all my earnings into my right. I had no savings, no steady job. If I didn't do something, I'd fall behind on the medical bills, so I had to find work. That's when you turned to taxi driving. Yeah, driving was all I could do. Besides, all I really wanted was, what? Just wanted to have her sit next to me again. She couldn't drive herself, but she loved it when I took her for a spin. I still remember her in the passenger seat laughing and smiling away. If she came out of that coma, I wanted to be ready to take her on another ride. I reckon that would make her happy. But then I figured after the accident, she'd be too scared to do that again. So I thought... So I thought if I became a taxi driver and learned safe driving, maybe she'd be okay with it. Maybe we could go back to old times, just the two of us riding the wind. But a year ago, she finally lost the battle. Chief, I'm sorry, I had no idea. Who you're looking at right now is a miserable wreck of a man who can't even wear his own wedding ring because it hurts too much to remember. I couldn't save the one I loved. I broke the promise I made to my rival. I'm a no good worthless wretch. That's not true. You helped me out when I was in a bad place. I'm thankful for that and I have nothing but respect for you. So please don't talk about yourself that way. Suzuki-san, if only Saka knew about this, I'm sure he'd forgive you for going back on your word. You still haven't told him about the accident, right? No. I didn't want to use my wife as an excuse, and I just couldn't face him. I'm a former racer myself, so I know exactly how he feels. I know how much he wants that rematch. Yeah, but if I told him about the accident, sure, he'd probably let it slide. 
But think about what it do to him. Cars have been his life. I don't want to ruin that for him. I don't think telling him is a good idea. You want Onisaka to keep on raising then? I used to want that. I figured with me off the road he might as well do enough racing for both of us. But now I don't know. He's getting old. I don't want him chained to this life until it's too late. One day I will push it too far. And when he bows out, I want to be at I want it to be at the right time. I don't want him to end up like me. Now if someone were to beat him in a race, maybe that would give him what he needs to lay his pride down. Then that's what I'll do, huh? I'll challenge Onisaka son and put an end to his career. You you do okay. that? Sure. Back when I was lost, you gave me a place and a purpose. That's always meant a lot to me. So let me pay you yeah. back. But that's asking too much. Nakajima-san, listen. I've taken down all the devil killers, and now I'm the fastest in Fukuoka, just like you were. It's my turn to step up and race in your stead. You leave this to me, Suzuki-san. Thank you. What did I miss, guys? That was an uh, emotional questline all of a sudden. Helped a friend make his character for the one-on-one D&D session. Having all the D&D books really came in handy gonna be dungeon crawl maybe I get some more of my German friends to play yay room so I'm not sure if I'm ready to see Zack die again who's ever ready to see Zack die again Bad Hiko. I got a request for you, Suzuki-san. The place is, let's see, oh, right in front of the office. It shouldn't take me long then. Don't see a client. Oh, hi there, Wada-san. Hi there, yourself. On a break right now? You could say that. Alright, see you around then, I guess. No. What's wrong? It's me, by the way. Hmm? I'm the one who requested you. What? You're the client? You want me to drive you home again? No. Don't you remember what the chief said when you first got hired? I'm the most senior driver. He wanted me to give you some driving hey. tips. You have. Come in handy. <laughs> well, I got one more piece of advice for you. What about... Today I want to tell you about... Onisaka. You're kidding. Chief needs you to race hey. him, right? Like that. Then I might just be able to help. You used to be a street racer yourself, didn't you? Oh, you bet. There was years ago, though. Onisaka used to be one of the three musketeers, you know? Let me guess, the predecessor to the Four Kings? You're sharp. Top three race in Fukuoka. At the, at the time took on that name from an old French novel. And wouldn't you know it, our chief was the fastest of and biggest speed demon in all of Fukuoka. People used to call him Athos, the eldest and mostly fatherly musketeer. Yusaka was third in rank. He went by the handle Porthos. But Onisaka's was a tenacious one. His times kept getting faster and faster. When he got back into his back from his travels, he was at the top of his game. If the chief hadn't already quit, Onisaka probably could have taken him. So that's how it was. Yep, Onisaka is the kind of guy who'd do anything just to shave a millisecond off of race time. Twenty years have passed, but I bet he's still at peak condition. In fact, if he's stuck with it all these years, he might even be faster yet. That's something to consider. Well, look, I request you for all they know you're on the job, right? That's true. You should use this time and get some practice. You need to train if you want to beat Onisaka. Idea how I could, would go about doing that? How about you and me hit the highway? You want to race? Why not? 
If you think you're ready to take on Onisaka, you ought to have no trouble beating me. If you haven't raced in years, right? Hey, I'm high to you all every day. Still got the thunder in my veins. Driving a taxi isn't the same thing. And I know I'm the one to talk, but you're not as young as you used to be. Nonsense, I'm still plenty young. I have this old people cough. <laughs> so if Nakajima was the head musketeer and Onisaka was the third in line, maybe the second fastest was. Okay, be honored to race with you, Wada san. That's the spirit. But you should know I'm not your average ex street racer. Be ready for a challenge. I'm sure he was right behind the chief in terms of speed and ability. But I'll take him lightly. Musketeer? Question mark. Two wraps on or, uh, laps on advanced. Holy shit, his car is fast. Oh, this is gonna go terribly, I can already tell. So far, so good. Really bad, Jordi. You're doing a terrible job on this road right now. Don't use the heat wave here. Up to me. Okay. Drifting. It's the correct move. Fury drift. Here If I should let him overtake me, I think I should before I actually. Uh, I think we're fine here. Fun fact, we watched Fast and the Furious 9 in class today, what a shit show of a movie, the one uh, where uh, Vin Diesel says it all it's all about family or something. <clears throat> Man, you got me. You're pretty quick, alright. I think you got what it takes to give on Onisaka a run for his money. Thanks. You may not be a street racer anymore, but you're still one hell of a driver. Fitting for a former musketeer, I'd say. <laughs> You musketeer? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. Really? You weren't a musketeer? Nope. I wasn't even close to their level. But I guess you could call me the Artagnan of the group, a sworn ally of the three musketeers. <laughs> yeah, the Artagna. You know who that is, yes? No, sorry. I guess 
you were talking about the Three Musketeers book, but mm -hmm. I've never read it. You haven't? Dirac Takna is the main character who goes on adventures with Three Musketeers. Huh. Be sure to read it when I get the <laughs> chance. Ain't that big a deal. So how come you're so fast now, if you weren't a musketeer? I'll tell you. When we're back at the office, we'd better go or Hirakawa-san will right. have a fit. Got a two in one class. On my grades for this half year. You get a two in one class? Damn, Hiko! Jesus, brother! You know that me and several other older drivers at the company were street racers, right? Hey. After Nakajima went off the radar, racing lost its spark for me, so I had to quit like he did. I wanted to find a job, but driving was all I knew. I ran into one brick wall after another, thinking there wasn't anything out there for me. That's when Naki Nakajima-san showed up. Out of the blue, he said he'd start a com taxi company and wanted me to come on board. So he took you in, just like that. Yeah, it was the last thing I expected at the time. I wondered why he wanted to run a taxi company, but since he was asking me for help, I just went yeah. along with it. I think back, though, it was him who helped me. He was barely scraping by on his own, but he took me in when I had nowhere to go. <laughs> I'd always looked down on taxi drivers, but when I gave it a shot myself, I found out how hard it really is. <clears throat> Be like, hmm, don't understand the taste, let me eat ten more. Don't have straight A's anymore. F's, Hiko, F's. As a street racer, I was free to drive however I liked, but with passengers on board, you're always worried you're going to mess up. One little mistake could put others in danger. That is the first time I realized the gravity of people putting their lives in your hands. But that makes it all the more rewarding when passengers thank me. Winning a race is nothing compared to that feeling. So I made myself promise, as long as there is someone in my cab, I will never cause an accident or break a traffic law. And I've managed to keep my promise all these years. Well, hey, that's no small feat. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess, even now, when I'm taking a, a passenger somewhere, I'm more focused and nervous than when I was racing. You could say every passenger I've carried has been a battle for me. Battle against myself, of course. Battle against yourself. Damn, that sounds heavy. Well put, Wada. So you battle against yourself every day, and that's the secret to your technique? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say that. I feel like I'm making a bigger deal out of it than it should, though. Doesn't suit me, huh? No, in fact, I think it suits you just fine. You know, that just fired me up. Why the sun? I'm gonna show you how great a driver I can be, too. I'll try sharpening up my act as well. Couldn't hurt, right? You bet. We should all give this job our best. We owe it to the chief and the passengers who depend on us. Now, boys, let's get back to work. Everyone has a history, don't they? In any case, I don't want Wada to think his help was a waste, so I'll make sure not to lose this next race. The next race is gonna be the hardest one. It's three fucking laps, guys. But first, we're gonna do the flight of Fancy, and then we're gonna do the last thingy. I wanna finish up all the side missions and stories before the end of the game. Where are you headed? Just start driving! Hurry! It's like she's in trouble. Alright, let's go. I need you to get me away from here fast. Okay. Phew, I don't think they've seen me yet. Someone looking for you? Yes, the royal security detail. They are not, no doubt searching far and wide for me as we speak. Royal? So I'm a princess from the Kingdom of Accountant. Hmm? Oh, don't look so nervous. I may be royalty. But I'm just flesh and blood like you. Is she delusional or is this some kind of joke? I guess I'll dig a little deeper. Yeah, look, and sound Japanese to me. Yes, people of Countant look practically identical to the Japanese. We must share a common ancestor. But as a result, we have very, very good relationship with Japan, and many of us study the language. That's why I'm fluent in Japanese. No kidding. He's got quite the imagination. I guess I'll press a little further. So what's Princess doing in uh, Fukuoka? I only have one, two average. I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Hiko, you just gotta pull yourself together! 
So what's Prince to do in Fukuoka? I came with my father, the king. Didn't want to impose on the Japanese government by making an official visit, so we came unannounced. See, well, it's almost as if she believes this is all true. One more thing. Where's the kingdom of content? Hmm, it's certainly natural you don't know of it. It's a very small island nation far to the southwest of Hakata Bay. I see, she's playing this pretty straight. Not sure what to say, she does look pretty serious. By the way, miss, hey, I'm all for mingling with common folk, but you need to watch how you address me. You're still talking to a princess. Sorry, your royal highness, uh, where would you like me to take you? A security detail may still be searching for me. Just keep driving so they don't find me. Are you running away from your own security? The other day, the king decided it was time for me to marry, and he picked a husband-to-be. But I did not like the man he selected at all. My father, however, refused to give me any say in it. I cannot bear the thought of a life where I must spend the rest of my days with someone I do not love, so I decided to run away. I chose Japan because nobody knows me here. I thought it would be the perfect place to start a new life. I see. Now your security details looking for you, huh? That's right. And their driving skills are quite formidable. If they find me, I doubt we'd be able to get away. Hmm. Getting a little tired of playing along with this fantasy, I just smile not. Ah! A security detail caught up with us. Really? Well, what are we waiting for. If they spot us, they'll be punished too, you know? Hmm, that would be a shame. How can you be so complacent? Look at the car behind us. It's my security detail. If they catch up, it's all over. Hmm, right. Wait. There's a suspicious looking car behind us. It's coming up fast. Definitely following this taxi. Don't tell me her stories were all true. Hurry up, don't let them catch us. Okay, okay. There, a taxi. They find us? Oh no, right. let's go. Fine. Just want to get this over with. Pursuers. Ninety seconds. Jesus, I'm going so fucking fast, yo. I bet if I dra drove, like, completely well, I could actually catch up to them. Make an entire lap. But I have a feeling something is gonna go wrong if I do that, so uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm joking. Phew, thank you. Steal her panties? Whose panties? What the hell? Thank you, your driving skills are really amazing. <laughs> well, we've shaken off my security team. Now I'll have to find a place to hide. Thank you for getting me this far, I appreciate it. What is it? Mm, who exactly were those guys? Like I said before, I'm the princess of a kingdom called Koten, so... I heard that... Then, was there something else you wanted to know? No, never mind. Anyway, is that all? Yes, here's the money for the ride, along with the reward. Just a huge tip. Maybe she really is who she says. I must be going. I trust that you won't mention you saw me to anyone else. Of course. Glad to have met you. If only the man my father wants me to marry was as gallant as you. Sorry? Did you say something? No, nothing. Farewell. Princess. Chop top, time's to poopy, not now, tomorrow. <laughs>
This lady is confusing. I know, right, SQ? You must be jealous. Okay, we did all the taxi missions, now we just need to do one... ...more race mission. The hardest one. Breaking the sound barrier. Call from someone named Onisaka-san, but he's requested a chief out of all people. I'll be taking that job. Not sure that's a good idea. Normally I'd agree, but the chief is out right now. Might as well let him do it here at Kawa-san. True. It isn't like we have another option. Okay then, Suzuki-san. It's all yours. Thanks for volunteering. No problem. It's been a long uphill battle since you first ran into devil killers, but once you do this, it'll be all over. Last. Make sure you win, so Onisaka can finally get some peace of mind. Be careful out there. We all know you got what it takes. Yeah, carve your own destiny, man. No matter how tough the challenge, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> you guys, thanks. Guess I'll be heading out now. Go get him. Even really study. What? Hiko doesn't study and is a straight A student, except for one moment. Did I keep you waiting? Hey, I asked for Nakajima, not you. Thought you wanted the thrill of going up against the top racer in Fukuoka. No need to bother Nakajima-san. If that's what you're looking for, I'm your man. <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry. It just seems you're letting the fact you took down the devil killers go to your head. What are you implying? I'm saying you can't live up to Nakajima's legacy. I saw your race, Takamura. You're nowhere near Nakajima's level. Taking you on would be like arm wrestling a baby. Not that I suggest that. But you get the picture. He got some weak ass odds, my friend. Might as well head on back in the taxi of yours. The odds aren't what's important. As long as there's a chance, I'll take it. What? I can see you're letting the past hold you back. I'm here to change that. Interesting. No wonder Nakajima hired you on. Fine. You'll get your shots, but fair warning, I got 20 years of pure rage in this beating heart of mine, and I'm taking it out on you. An autistic mind. I actually feel that, kinda. I've always been good at studying as well, or well, learning more or less. I didn't really need to study either. Just be in class, pay attention, that's it. Huh. I don't think we're gonna win this, are we? Maybe we can win this, but maybe not. He just needs to overtake me once during the wrong time and I lose though. It's actually kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. No, we're not using it yet. We really need to use it on the last lap.
I'm surprised how fucking fast this car is. Also kind of surprised that I can actually overtake him during this uh, part. Wait for him to overtake me again so that I can go into the boost. That was good enough of an overtake attempt, I'd say. No, we're not using triangle here yet. We still got an entire lap to go, so. That means I got time. And we got two secret boosts on the way as well. This car is insanely fast though. If it wasn't for pure, pure skill difference, I guess, against an AI, I would have lost this 100%. Secret move, Fury Drift. Uh, I farts in my brain, I remember nothing. What's your name again? Dorney, was it? No, my name was SQ. I'm not gonna use my boost here this time. I'm gonna use my boost after the second, the final streak boost. She's right here. You win, nice. But Ork SQ, nice to meet you. That was a rough race, actually. Not gonna lie. Good job, me. You really did it, huh? You beat me. Uh, trophies. I suppose I did. <laughs> what now? This. This is the thrill I've been looking for. I feel like I'm alive again. I've been waiting so long to just feel it one more time. You did good, Suzuki-san. Thank you. It was almost like racing against that man himself. The guy I've been chasing all these years. Nakajima, I know I disappeared on you, but I couldn't. Um, there was something that I wanted to check. Okay, I need to get my taxi up to level 25. That's good to know. Tatsuya Noodle three times? Jesus. Okay, at least that is something that I needed to know beforehand. We can continue that tomorrow. 
I'm saying other words. I know how hard it is. Even so, I went about it. I got no excuse. Don't sweat it. We're all good, man. The rifles are united at last. It seems they're off to a good start. That was actually kind of scary, a race. But the racing was not that bad. I expected worse. An accident? That's terrible. Still, wish things didn't end the way they did. I figured it was along those lines. It'd have to be something major to get you to quit. Appreciate your understanding. Well, I can't say I'm not disappointed. I never did get my rematch. But going against Suzuki-san here got all that anger out of my system. I think it's time I finally left the racing life behind. You mean that? Yeah. In all honesty, I just wanted to go out on high. One last race was all I needed. And thanks to you, I got it. You're a good man, Suzuki-san. <laughs> Guess I made the right call. Hmm? Furumichi-san, you're here too? Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? You know each other? Of course we do. Furumichi here was one of the three musketeers. Can you believe this goody two-shoes was a street racer? Is this true? Haha, <laughs> what? An honest cop can't have a bit of a past? Thought I'd really rather you not dig that up. <laughs> no, it's just that I never would have expected you to involve, to be involved, especially with a group like the Devil Killers. Sorry to keep that little detail secret. What with my current position, I'm reluctant to talk about my history. I'm sure you can understand. At any rate, you've done a fine job here. I'll stay, say it again. Nice work, Suzuki-san, and thank you. Thanks to you, the Devil Killers are no more, and our old ties are mended. I'd given you accommodation if I could, but that's a bit tricky considering the methods we used. Your thanks more than enough. No, I can just leave it at that. Here, take this. It's no accommodation, but it'll do the Sakura Storm. Well, how about that? Three musketeers together again. How about we catch up over drinks tonight? Sounds like a plan. Your treat, Furumichi? Oh. What? I thought be on the chief here. Huh? Why me? <laughs> Well, I took down what's left of the Devil Killers and repaired an old friendship. It was a long road, but it was well worth it. Who oh, boss? I'm back. Hey, Suzuki-san, how'd it go? Did you beat Onisaka? Managed to win somehow. Awesome, way to go, Suzuki-san. <laughs> well, that's good news, isn't it? Now you won't get people trying to race you left and right. I haven't seen the chief around, but I'm sure he'll be happy to hear what went down. Actually, he was over at the race. Let's just say the three musketeers had a happy reunion at last, and it looks like they're going out for a drink. You serious? Well, yeah. Ah, I don't believe this. What's not to believe? They came all together racing, so I think they resolved their difference. It's not it. Why didn't they invite me out too? That's what you're worried about? I spent my best years together with three musketeers. I am Darkatan. How could they leave the main character out? Don't worry. <laughs> they want to invite all the staff along too. Be here any minute now. <sighs> Alrighty then. Whoa! Get to have drinks with the three musketeers? This will be a blast. Hey, kiddo, didn't you have something to tell suzuki san Oh yeah, what is it, Kiyo-wa? Well, you see, come on, spit it out. suzuki san I... Passed my class 2 license test! Really? Yes. Miramatsu-san helped me get through the studying. Kiyokawa was a nervous wreck, so I had to go to the test center with him. He's a handful, all right. Thanks to him, I passed the writing test on my first try. I can finally be a taxi driver now. Just like you, I stepped up to the challenge, and I made my own destiny. Congratulations. Looks like all that work paid off. Thanks for that, for saying that. You helped me out so much. Sue's so the one to thank. Don't forget your manners. Yes, sir. Thank you for your help, Miramatsu-san. I passed my test with flying colors. So, do I get a present or something? What? Should be the other way around. You're supposed to get me a gift. Oh, come on. Don't I deserve a reward? There's no hope for you, kid. <laughs> Attention, Nagasu taxi members. I got a word for you all. Drinking. Who's up for it? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. You're welcome to join Hirakawa san. Oh, but I can't but I can't get a bit crazy when I drink. What if I end up shattering those glasses of yours? Um, what? Hey, it's time to party! I'm so lucky to be here. You guys are seriously the best. You're ready to drink, Suzuki san. <laughs> I am. Kiyokawa is right. There's something special about this company and everyone who works here. 
Why are you spacing out there, suki -san? They'll run out of booms at this rate. Come on, hop to it. And say... And they say you're Fukuoka's fastest. Let's get a move on. <clears throat> it's a good... It's a really nice story. I like it. I'm lucky to have them as friends. Even none of, even though none of them know your actual name. Okay, uh, I know there's another race, technically. Pink Passion. Can keep my orange. I need to reach level 25. We got new free missions now. Free Nagasugaya Drive, free Highway Drive, free race. And that is Aitatsu Furumichi. So we'll gotta do him eventually, but that's most likely going to be happening on the next stream. The car looks hideous. I know, right? Can't be helped. Um, oh, what the hell am I doing here? Water sun saw right through me. <laughs> He's right, though. Must be something I can do. Christmas is coming up soon. Could at least send kids enough money to buy the gifts they wanted. I'll just use the ATM to transfer m the money over. If I send it all at once, the kids might get confused, though. I know, splitting the money into separate payments might give them an idea. It's for, and there's Taichi, Kyoji, Mitsuro, Shiro, Ayako, Eri, and... Izumi, a total. <laughs> Second thought, that might be even more confusing. I'm going to do it anyway. The youngest Izumi. Remember, she always loved dogs. She even brought the stray back to the orphanage and started taking care of it. She can be a little selfish sometimes, but she takes really good care of that dog. Don't think of it. The collar she used when walking the dog was a little tattered. I'll send her enough money to buy a new collar. Cell phone! Order has been shipped. Completion office. Kiryu side story completed. Go to the convenience store to pick up your shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there are, holy shit, four new side missions unlocked? Well, we got another race here that we need to do. Better be going. Looking forward to seeing you on the road, suki san That's the Spangled Meteor. The only way to see one of the Vixen Zeros is to beat him in a race. I guess I'll have to give it this. I'll have to give this a shot. Taxi Legend, Vixen Zero Leader. Uh, Intermittent and Advanced Lap. This should be a breeze, honestly. I don't have to do the rough corners. <laughs> Also, I'm absolutely maxed out to the teeth when it comes to uh, my car, so... Dauntless driving! I do find these speed bumps on the highway really weird. Why the fuck are there speed bumps on the highway?
distance. I'm so far ahead, yo. In hit it. Ah, crap baskets. Well, there goes my... Uh, oh, no, my distance is still, like... Far enough. Even with rubber banding, they can't catch up. Didn't even get a level up, cringe. Seems the rumors about Suzuki the taxi driver were true. So it was you. The Rena Nanami, or should I say the Sprangled Meteor? <laughs> My real name's fine. Only little boys who can tell the gas from the brakes gets stuck with the meteor treatment. Tell me, why did you want to race me? There's only one reason I ever make a challenge, to see who's the fastest. And I guess that's you. A guy. Thanks for demolishing my perfect record. You really hate losing to men, huh? That's right. I told you the nightlife industry dominated by men, didn't I? Same with the racing community. It's always a man behind the wheel. The girl just sits in the passenger seat like an ornament. That's what everyone thinks. I, for one, can stand being put in a box. So I took it upon myself to show everyone, uh, show up anyone who tries, whether their target is me or anyone else. Anyway, I've always been into cars, so I came up with this idea for a group where women can drive and turned it into Vixen Zeros. I see. And you've kept up the struggle to gain women some recognition ever since, uh-huh. I just wish I didn't have to bust my ass so hard only for some taxi driving dude to leave me in the dust. Everyone's probably out dunking on us all over again. After all, we're just girls. Look, I know you're disappointed, but that doesn't mean you have to start from square one. You've already built quite a name for yourselves. And certainly it doesn't matter that any frustrated male critics... What any frustrated male critic says, it only shows their ignorance of what it truly means to be a man. What matters is you, a woman who can drive like the wind, a street racer with integrity, Win or lose, I think at least deserves credit for that. You give yourself some. Yeah. I guess there's that. Sometimes I get so caught up with fighting the good fight. I forgot how far I've come. Happens when you're a girl with a goal. Haha. <laughs> now, I'm glad we met and got to put her racing to the test. Oh, and this to make up for that drink. Don't feel bad about taking it. You got a mystery stone. Congrats, Suzuki-san. That's the first time I've ever said that to a man and meant it. So yay for you. If every guy were as understanding as you, the world would be much better off. Be nice if they were as handsome too. <laughs> Don't have to say all that. In any case, I gotta get going. It really was a pleasure to race you. Thanks for accepting the challenge. So do you plan on doing more racing from here on out? Not sure yet. For some reason, our race helped me get a lot of... Mm, lot out of my system. I'll probably take a break for a while before I get back to it. Oh, but if I ever start yearning for some high-octane action, I can just catch a ride in your taxi, right? Hope you won't mind. <laughs> Rana nana nana me. Sprangled meteor. That's one badass lady. You can say that again. Uh, there's still some... S the King of Mixer. From far off land. We got that. Hunt for kidnappers. Got to be firm. Taxi SOS. Yeah, there are still a few quests that are unlocked right now. Most of them we've already cleared, though. Uh, I'm right there. So we're going to the safe point. Then we're going... Because so I got a lot of trash in my bag right now. Need to clean that up. Then we're going to go check what our reward is for cleaning.
This one goes away, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't need this many healing items right now. Ooh, I actually need to go to the toilet so badly. I need to go to the toilet real badly. We did a decent chunk of cleaning up though already, even if it's still a long way to go. Yeah, I need to send like... Oh, Pei came in. Lol. Send 5k. In order of age, next up is Shiro. He's the same age as Izumi. And like the rest of the kids, he never liked playing outside. He was bullied in school for a while as well. But he learned how to stand up for himself and proved he could hold his own. He was also a big reader. I think if I give him some money for books, he'd like books about space. In particular, if I remember correctly, something you don't come across often would be best. Maybe an encyclopedia of constellations. Send another 5,000. Mitsuo, Reno, and Eri. They're all the same age. I guess we'll start with Eri. Probably uh, the one at Morning Glory who took not having her parents the hardest. Might be why she tried so hard to fit in with the other kids at school. I think she finally learned that being herself was the best way to make friends. She's a survivor, alright? I think she was into rabbit-themed collectibles. She had her heart set on getting a big rabbit plushie. This probably costs a lot, but I think 8,000 yen would do the trick. Actually, talk to this mofo. Machine Gun Kiss. Oh, I forgot that I had these. Accept prizes. Dragon scale. Not bad. Fighting prophecies. O3. Okay, it's currently all I can carry. You're in luck, Harry. Here's a little friend to keep you company. That's three. Number four is Riona. And probably is the trendiest kid at Morning Glory. She likes fashion and talks about going to Tokyo one day. She also wore long sleeves to hide the burns she got as a kid. I wish I could be there for her until she comes to terms with it. She had her eye on a new pair of shoes at the local shopping district, I think. If I remember right, those were around 6,000. Good thing we got enough money, right? Good, I have a feeling she'll be happy about this. Alright, number five is Mitsuo. Mitsuo has a, had a crush on Riona. <laughs> he even helped him pick out some clothes to impress her. He got a big heart, and I bet he'd be good for her. I hope things go well for the two of them. <laughs> then go to sleep, SQ. It's probably because of Riona that he's been more fashion conscious. Be good to give him some money for the clothes. Last time I only spent about 2,000, but he's grown since then. Probably need a bit more. 6,000 for Mitsuo. Good night, Hiko. Good night, SQ. I'll talk to you all tomorrow, most likely. Okay, now there's just the eldest kids. Ayako, Taichi, and Koji. I guess I'll start with Koji. He's an active kid who's into soccer and baseball. He treats everyone equally and is a great example for everyone else at the Morning Glory. Seem I seem to remember him talking about the signature series glove he really wanted. It cost about 10,000 yen. 
It's more than I gave the others, but it's no big deal. There's no rest for the wicked. I'm gonna stay for a while. There's no rest for the wicked. <laughs> okay, this is for you, Koji. Catch your dreams and don't let them slip, kid. Okay, that leaves Ayako and Taichi. I'll take care of Taichi first since he's younger. Taichi is still a bit of a rascal, unlike Koji, but he does act his age when it comes to looking after the younger kids. He loves pro wrestling and said he wanted to be a pro wrestler one day, but now he's talking about working straight out of junior high. <laughs> I remember wearing a wrestling mask to cheer him up once. He's been into masked wrestlers ever since. Come to think of it, he mentioned wanting a replica mask once. You can get them for around 10,000 yen. Knowing him, he'll tear around the house wearing the mask on. Last up is Ayako. She's the eldest of the kids of Morning Glory. I remember her being pretty quick on her feet. <laughs> it was all I could do to keep up with her. Although she's the quiet, precautious type, she actually seems pretty athletic. In junior high, she insisted on helping out at home instead of joining a club. Eventually convinced her to join the track team. Here she's a long distance runner now. Quite good at it. She's also caring and committed, but I worry she doesn't put herself first often enough. She needs to learn to take it easy sometimes. That's right, her running shoes are practically falling apart. Okay. New shoes, a pair, a good pair probably runs around 20 yen, 20k yen. 20,000, Jordi. There. May your new shoes carry you wherever you want to go in life. No, we're not sending anything currently. Need more money first. I sent money for all eight kids. Probably just feel better about myself, but still. Hey, Suzuki-san. Oh, Wada-san. Didn't see you there. You've just passed by. You sent money again? Yeah. Maybe causing more harm than good, though. Who knows? Hard to say. Don't know much about your background. But I do know, Suzuki-san, that you're a dedicate, dedicated man. I can't imagine anyone complaining about that. <laughs> I hope you're right. Of course I am. Now then, we drink. We're drinking? Oh yes, this is one of the rare moments in our adult lives where we can take a step back and actually appreciate the responsibilities we have. Can't waste an opportunity like that. <laughs> you may just have a point there. Okay, lead the way. Good job, Kiryu, walking against the lantern. Sub story, baby! Okay, uh, there's a safe spot there, and there are two food stalls down there. So we're gonna go to the food. Wait, can I get there? Yeah, I can get there faster with the cab. Oh, so that's what the other ones were. That were the... M stores. Okay, good to know, good to know. There's still one more left, but we're not gonna do that one tonight. We still will also get a, quite a lot of mini games left to conquer. Um, Udon West? No, let's go clean up the other one first. I don't know if there's a point in picking up litter still. Oh, Sokono Nichan! Oh, I can cancel. That's good to know. 
Grab the knife. I think I only needed one from here, right? Still. It is shame the scene. Yep. It means we can still buy something somewhere else. Oh, Moshiroi! Hey, finally a strength bonus. I actually don't know when you lose your strength bonus and other bonuses. Didn't pay enough attention during the explanation. Oh well. Chotmate. So. We don't west. Step, step, step. Ooh, there's a lot of things I need to get here still. Okay. Those were both spirits, that's kind of disappointing. Dave! How are you doing, buddy? You're like actually coming in at the moment that I'm about to end the stream, though. Which kind of sucks. It is alive! It? Are you an it? Dave, are you an it? Didn't know you were an it. Typical. Yeah, so typical, right? Always this ginger ass streamer. Going offline when people come in. What a bastard. It's not like it's midnight or anything. <laughs> mm. Oh, 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 Dave, I want to talk, but I really got to go. I got to go to the toilet and I got to go to bed. What is it with me and ginger streamers? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what it's with you and ginger streamers. But they're all very disappointed. <laughs> Dave, I'll be back tomorrow, so if you can, like, stop by and we can talk. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Uh, didn't you just say you want to do a spontaneous 24-hour stream? Listen, Nico, I made the decision to do studying tomorrow. So uh, I have to go to bed on time and wake up on time so I can actually study. So I wouldn't be able to do a 24-hour stream spontaneously. If... With that being said, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I'm having fun again with Yakuza. The mini games aren't that bad so far. There's a lot more coming on the way that's going to be frustrating, I feel. But um, so far, all is still good. So uh, tomorrow, we're just going to continue and uh, we'll see what comes on our path next. So... Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, good night, adios, sleep well, and sweet dreams, until the very next time. Good night.